Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you so much for joining us for the final show of your Wednesday. And uh, it's gonna be, well, hopefully nice and relaxing, hopefully nice and chilled. It is a craft along um, where you get the opportunity to craft along with us at a real pace, at a normal pace, which is loads of fun. I know you guys absolutely love this. Um, we do them quite frequently on all of our new launches, so you get the opportunity to get all the goodies home and then craft along with us. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be an awesome show because not only do we have uh, the fantastic Debbie leading the way, um, I'm going to attempt to do a bit of crafting with you. Uh, also, we've got a fantastic guest as well uh, joining us from Preston, who we will say hello to in just a few moments' time, a guest plus another special guest who might have another special guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very exciting. Um, so that is coming up for you a little bit uh, later on. Just to mention before we get into it and talk about what we're going to be crafting during this show, uh, don't forget on the website today uh, we have a code for you. Of course it is a leap year, so today normally the final day of February, it's not February the 29th tomorrow, to celebrate the fact, I think we're celebrating the fact it's a leap year, uh, we've got a code for you, the code is LEAP10, yes. So if you go to the website uh, .com.co.uk or .eu, you'll see it, it's there as soon as you get on the website, there is a big section with over 1,900 items for you to peruse. You whack a load of those items into your basket. By the way, loads of those items have already been heavily discounted, and then you add the code LEAP10, you'll get 10% off your order, and then we'll send you another code so that you can get 15% off a shop in March. We're generous, aren't we? Generous, generous, generous. So do make sure that you check that out, have a look on the website, all the deals are there. Uh, Superstar Susie is on the socials. We're gonna say a few hellos in just a few moments. Simon, of course, introduce you to our guest, but let's say hello to the most important person in the room right now. Uh, mm -hmm. It is the one and only, the lovely lady leading the craft along, the Barnsley bombshell herself, Debbie Robinson. Hey, I love that. I love these build-ups. They're so nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, I'm really excited about this one. I, this was the one that I wanted to craft along wise. Um, I'll show you the project first, so as I'm really looking forward to it. But this is what we're going to be making. Now, if you want to turn this into a card, you can turn it into a card. Uh, mine's a little home decor piece based on the fact that I wanted something um, above my craft desk so that I've got something bright and cheerful to look at. Um, so that is why it is a little um, home deco piece. Ah. However, Ben, if you want to make yours into a card to give to your lovely missus, then you absolutely could do if you wanted to. And I'll, I'll talk you through that later as we go on. But it's nice and simple. We're just gonna have a nice bit of crafty fun. Um, and um, yeah, enjoy those floral creations. Um, Shall I give you the, um, I was going to say the recipe. The recipe? Um, yeah, the recipe. The, the things ingredients. that you need. The ingredients. Um, here they are. Um, so you're going to need your floral creations, which is all of your stamp and your dies that are in there. Uh, the three by six linen card pads. I've used the spring and the summer. We've got the Say It With Flowers 12 by 12 paper pad, multi-purpose cardstock, black cardstock, waterproof noir black, that's the ink pad. Um, also then, we are going to be having, to, well, I've personally used the mini. If you've got any of the other machines, you can absolutely use those, but I'm using the mini die cutting machine, large guillotine, do you know, I'm still debating why I've put a score master on here. Well, I've got mine ready. <laughs> I don't think we need a score master, so we're going to scribble the score master off because um, I don't remember putting that on my list, but oh. apparently the guys have told me I did. Oh. Um, so that was just Debbie having a senior moment. <laughs> um, I've got a magnetic stamping platform, any stamping platform to be fair, because all we're doing is stamping a little sentiment onto there. So it could be your rocker blocks or anything else. Um, all purpose glue, tacky glue, uh, 3D glue gel foam pads and gems. And the one thing that is missing off there that I definitely put on that list is the hot glue gun oh. because I prefer a hot glue gun when it comes to um, using I don't just say it's <laughs> I thought the same thing. Have they misunderstood that I didn't ask for a score master? I asked for a uh, hot glue gun. Doesn't matter. Easily confused. Easily confused. They're, you know, same thing really. Yeah, Jamie, same thing really. No, they're not. Uh, but yeah, I prefer hot glue gun. If when it comes to the composing and putting the flowers down, you're not as confident with a hot glue gun as, as like I know I am because I've used one for many, many years, then the 3D cloud glue will be your chosen glue. And that's what Ben's going to use because it gives you that wiggle time. It's a wet glue that it does set strongly uh, and, and like cement to be fair but yeah literally any kind of a type of glue that you feel confident using when you want to lay down your flowers um, so there you go Ben um, 
Thank you so much. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I cannot wait to get involved in this. And before we say a few hellos to those of you watching, oh, by the way, um, if you are watching and crafting along, do let us know. Um, we'll say hello to you. We've got, um, well, um, fantastic guests to say hello to you here. Joining us from Preston uh, in Lanx, uh, it is our official guest, who is the lovely Victoria. Hello, Victoria. Hi. Uh, lovely to have you with us in your first craft along in there. Who, who else is with us? What's your name? What's your name? Oh, she's, <laughs> she's, oh, she's gone a bit shy, shy now. <laughs> That's Violet, isn't it? That's Violet, yes. Yeah. And, um, and, and who is our little furry friend there? Robin Rose. Mm. Robin Rose. So, do you know yeah. what? It's lovely to have three of you on together. And I've, I've got to say, it's nice, <laughs> to, it's nice to have a little one on because we don't often have uh, the kids join us on the craft alongs. And can I just say, very exciting news, although we've had pets on before, Violet, I can officially announce that Robin Rose is the first rabbit to ever feature on Crafters TV. <laughs> Yay! You should give Robin Rose an extra <laughs> carrot tonight, I think, uh, for being the first, uh, the first rabbit. Or is that, I guess that's what she eats, is it carrots? You you know what? She actually doesn't like carrots that what? much. Huh? She she likes broccoli and cabbage. <laughs> I I've never heard of a rabbit not liking carrots. Yeah. So okay. well, an extra stalk of broccoli then maybe the uh, maybe the answer. Uh, she, you're not yes. keeping her you're not keeping her on your shoulder for the whole craft along, are you? No, I won't. <laughs> she looks tiny, baby. She little. Is she a baby? Um, is she, she's asking. Is she a baby? <laughs> she's not oh, my she's mommy. Like, she's not. <laughs> She left me on my mummy. She's gone. She's causing mayhem already. Oh, she's behind dear. my chair now. <laughs> All right, we're going to put her back in the cage now. Put her back in the cage. Give her some broccoli <laughs> or, or something, back. for goodness sake. All right. Dear, oh dear. Bye, Robin. What a st <laughs> what a bye start, bye. Victoria. Uh, this, 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 this Chaos. Is your, <laughs> this is your first craft along, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. How long have you been crafting for? How old am I? Um, probably since I've been a little girl trying to make clothes for my dolls out of like paper tissues and things like that. So with sticky tape. And... Yeah. And um, so, how, long, how long have you been watching um, Crafters TV? Um, what is it? 2024, yeah. probably since 2020. Okay, so you've been with us for quite a while, and and do you get to yeah. the chance to craft quite a lot, or is it something that you sort of just do now and again? Um, whenever my muse strikes, I guess, or when I have like special occasions coming up, yeah, like birthdays and um, Christmas. So yeah, whenever I want to, basically, to keep me sane as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, th there is that, isn't there? And um, what about yeah. this collection, the, the, the Floral Creations? Um, it's, it's one that you absolutely love, obviously, because I guess that's why you've asked to come on the, uh, the craft along. Yep, it's here. It's here. I've already had a little play with it. And um, I've decided to also play with the Sunbeam palette oh, yep. the other day. And um, I've made some flowers with that. So I've cut out some flowers wow. with um that i've painted um i've painted the watercolor paper first and then oh incredible let it dry they look beautiful yeah and then oh. cut out some flowers and uh yeah some leaves some greenery so i might use that instead yeah well you can sit back and relax for an hour because that's we were going to be cutting <laughs> the flowers first but you've done it all <laughs> Oh dear. That's all right. I probably still um, have some some to cut out and well, um, yeah, yeah, just to think and re and and arrange. That's it. And the thing is, you'll need more anyway after you've used them on this project. But um, listen, it's great Always. to have you with us. What a great start to the show already. Um, I'm sure we'll see Thank more you. of uh, Violet and Robin Rose as we go. But as always, as I always say, you're in the, uh, the VIP seat. So if you need um, any help or if you need anything repeating, give us a wave and, um, and we'll come right over to you. But enjoy it.
All right. Thank you so much. I cool. will. You too. We'll be back with you very shortly. What a start to the show there, Debbie. I know. Eh? I love that. How cute was the little rabbit that and little, little violet? Cute, but it only looked tiny. It looked like a little baby rabbit. It didn't look yeah. very old at all. No. So, but yeah, it looked... Uh, I've nev we've never had a rabbit on before, so I am, I'm loving that. I'm all for different animals on the show. Yeah. Yeah, we've that had dogs, we've had cats. Yeah. Rabbits. Rabbit. Rabbit now, yeah, we can yeah. take that off the list. Guinea yeah, pigs absolutely. we want, hamsters, yeah, whatever definitely. you fancy. Maybe we'll make that a new uh, sort of proviso. If you're going to come on a craft along, you have to have <laughs> an animal we haven't featured before. That's only a joke, uh, but it would be nice. Uh, a few quick hellos, we'll get into it. Zoe Carver joins us from West Sussex. Mary and Beth Doyle is in from Minnesota. Uh, looking forward to watching Debbie and all the special guests. Uh, Shadaya joins us as well. Hello. Uh, and Jeffrey Langley. Sarah Ibbotson says hi to Ben and Debbie and Susie Craft friends from Arkansas. Jen Shank is with us as well from Maryland. Uh, Maricel is in saying hello I have all my supplies handy and ready to craft along. Yes Maricel I love that. Uh, Lisa Primo says hello from North Carolina. Anne says buddy. Uh, Cindy says yay I've been cutting out flowers excited for this craft along. Hi to Samantha who joins us from uh, Decatur Illinois. Uh, Jane Quayle says great to see Ben crafting along. <laughs> um, and Trish says hi all I'm crafting along today and looking forward to a fun time. So so we've got Trish, we've got Cindy and Maricel crafting along, which is awesome. Um, obviously Victoria, me as well. So uh, if you're crafting along too, let us know. Very quickly, before we get into it, just to remind you, you can pick up the floral creations kit. Basically, we didn't have this in stock. We found some stock thanks to producer Johnny. We have the showstopper option available for you and just the floral creations kit on its own. But because it's kind of one and the same, um, we've got 13 of everything left, if that makes sense, all right? So you can choose to go down the showstopper line or you can choose to just get the floral creations on its own. Um, if you're shopping, whoever buys what comes off that total of 13. So you are, are going to have to be quick. Don't forget, within the collection, you're going to get your 32 um, dies. So you, here, here it is, and you'll see all of these being used. I think at the, the, the top, we're going to be doing all of the cutting of the florals. So all of the flowers, all of the foliage, you've got a little banner in there as well. You get a whole host of stamps in there too, so you can create projects for all sorts of different occasions. Remember, within the actual box itself, you are also going to get your container. The container that Victoria was showing us that once you started cutting, you can stash full of all of your uh, flowers. And of course, as we found out yesterday, you can take out the little dividers and make them bigger. I mean, I obviously knew that. I was just playing along. <laughs> Um, but, but you've got the little container in there as well, um, so that's super handy. And then, um, of course, on top of all of that, you've got your um, linen card stuck as well, so the three by six in the summer and the springtime cards. I don't have that over this side of the studio, but if you go for the showstopper, you get all of that, plus you, we're going to bring you your A4 luxury linen card stock, the Wild at Heart. You're going to get your kingfisher as well. I'll be using this for my flowers, actually, because as I say, I don't have the, um, the linen cards, but we, it is fine. Lovely floral colours in here. And then we're also going to give you your magnetic dye stand and a bottle of our glue as well. All of that is included within the showstopper. It's £40 or $55 worth of extra goodies, and you're only paying an extra 20 on top. So it's £56 or $64. But of course, don't forget, you can just go for the floral creations show... Uh, collection on its own without the showstopper but there are 13 chances left to buy i think i've done everything that i need to do um we can say hi to jane who's joined us and claire who's joined us from gibraltar and i think we're ready to get into this um are you ready debbie i'm ready he's ready i'm ready you ready in the gallery i'm ready to go yeah absolutely let's do this thing let's do this so have you got all your flowers ready I've just uh, I haven't got anything ready yet. I just need to you just you you fill for a second and then all I'll right, just all yeah. right. you'll get yourself all ready then. Get your flowers out yeah. already. Mm -hmm. Um so I've got mine on a magnetic sheet and all we're gonna do is have a little play of cutting loads out in different colours. Um I have all my florals on one side and all me um and I'm not gonna try again. What? Foliage. Foliage. Foliage, 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 woohoo! Uh, we're going to, I have one on each side, so we're going to play oh, around good idea. with different colours on there as well. And I can see Ben's getting all of his ready. Did you say you didn't have these, Ben? Now I feel really bad. No, it's fine. I, I'm Are just you gonna, sure? I'm just going to cut up smaller strips of the cardstock from, well, because that's the good thing about the showstopper, isn't it? Well, yes, Unless you want to share, but I'll, 
I'll just well actually there's some really lovely colours in there that are. showstopper. Yeah. Is it the Wild at Heart and the Kingfisher? Yeah. I mean the Wild at Heart's got some really lovely ones. We'll go in with there. that one then, shall we? Oh uh, yeah, honestly. I um, mean it is just a case of choosing your colour palette. Now I kept this pretty simple when I when I did this project and I'll, I'm just gonna bring this in for a second so you can see it. Um I didn't add anything to it other because the thing is you can um, you could add inks to these if you wanted to. Um, you could add things like your glitter glues. You could add sparkly uh, glitter onto there as well. You could really give it an extra little bit of shine with a crystal clear overlay pen if you've got one. Um, there's lots of things that you can do with it. But I've kept it really simple, really yeah. basic, and I've just literally used the florals, used the pad, and just created with it. So, of course, you know, this is your Craft Along project, and it's down to you. Do with it what it, you will. Exactly. Exactly right. So, I'm going to chew... Are you throwing them around? <laughs> <Mr>? <laughs> Fine. I've got, I think I've got off what I need over here, so we Are you good. sure? I think so. Right, I'm going to have some nice, bright pink... Uh, yeah. A couple of sheets of those. I'm going to have some red. Um, I'm going to have definitely going to have some like from the green parts. Green. Uh, darker green. I'm going to have some white as well. Now that's the only colour that's not in these pads. Yeah. So I'm going to use some of our multi-purpose cardstock. We'll have a pale pink. Ooh, an orange. There is a bit of blue. Okay. I'll have a bit of blue. So I'll have a little bit of blue. If you do want something, you know, just give me a holler because you can uh, take some sheets out of here if you would like some of mine. Uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm all over this now. It's Are fine. you all over that? Are you yeah. happy with that? Yeah, I think I'm good. Perfect. Right, so I've chosen quite a few colours. I've got my mini at the ready. Yeah. And I've got my uh, platform for them to go into that, the folder. Um, you can see mine's well loved because uh, I've been cutting loads and loads and loads and loads of flowers. Uh, so we'll just get on with it and cut out um, a few different shapes. Now, these have been purposely sized to fit inside your mini and also you can cram quite a few florals onto there each and every single time so that's exactly what we're going to do now this might be repetitive it might be a bit you know, to some a little bit um too repetitive but honestly it's it's worth doing it mm. and it's one of those crafts that you can do at any time of the day um whip out your mini you could be sat down at night, yeah. watching a bit of Corrie. A bit of Corrie. EastEnders, Hollyoaks, whatever, CCTV, yeah. Whatever is your tickle. Yeah. Whatever tickles your fancy. <laughs> and you could be crafting away and cutting loads of these out um, and getting them stored into your box. Like, by the sounds of it, our lovely Victoria has already yeah, done. She's, she's, she's one step ahead. Mm. Um, so, yeah, literally... I, that's what I love about this set and it's one of those sets as well that is definitely going to sit at the side of your craft room because anytime you want to make a floral yeah you've got them yeah you've got them already so I'm just going to try and move this out of way so I'm not too that's it that's better um, and all we're going to do is just literally take all of those out and I love these through that trio because it's a nice little sized one so you've got lots of little ones here as well so I'm just going to Oh, sorry, I didn't realise that went in the way. Right, tell you what, let me move that out of the way, Jamie. Are you sure? Obviously, I can move it there so you can see. Um, you've still got space on here to get a couple more little ones out of there, so oh, don't be throwing yeah. that away because yeah. there's some space on there. Don't waste anything. But I'm just going to keep cutting a few different colour configurations with the same set of flowers for now. We're going to move to some other of the flowers as well. Oh, OK. Um, but, yeah, just... Oh, I forgot you were in there. How Ooh. many How many looking to, looking to cut, then? Do you know what, Ben? I would cut quite a few. Okay. Just because it's nice to have a nice selection. When it mm. comes to popping them all on your project, it's nice to have a fair few. So I'm going to cut some out in red. I'm going to cut some out in pink. I've got a bit of peach there. I've got a bit of lime. I've got some blue. So I'm going to cut quite a few out. And anything that you don't use in this craft along, yeah. you are going to be able to... Um, use these at a later date so honestly don't worry about it so just cut out loads of flowers to your heart's content and we will do some shaping i might even throw an ink or two in there throw what in i know i didn't say i was going to but you know you no. can do oh look at ben did you just did you do it with a bit i ain't got any ink don't worry about it don't no, i'm not worry worrying about it. we've got I'm plenty chilled. of ink over here so let's come in with um this lovely shade of what, what shade would you call that it's like a peach mm. sorbet, Pe isn't it? Peachy. Mm. A what? -y? Peachy. Peachy. Yeah, peachy. You're peachy. <laughs> Would you say I'm peachy? You're peachy. Oh, thank you. My mm. little peachy Ben. <laughs> shush. You're gonna make me. <laughs> you're gonna make me blush in a minute. 
I'm <laughs> flustered enough already. That oh, comment's bless like little peach, little peachy Ben. <laughs> I know I am warmed up just as a by the by this um, bit of a shameless plug I've recorded another Mosby's makes in the uh, you have in the break because I'd nicked out during the break to go yeah. and grab some um, bits and bobs for the house yeah and uh, when I come back you were just literally just finishing the, finishing the last part weren't you yeah I did a the scent with love I remade the Valentine's card that I did for Laura so that should Aww. be going up tonight and also very exciting um, tomorrow potentially I think we are we're going to film another little bit of crafty content which is going to be the first episode of a new bit of content which is going to feature Debbie I know I'm so excited it's called, should we say what it's called it's called craft stories where we're going to do a little bit of a like you know just chat on the sofas so um, I'm going to be interviewing Debbie about her sort of crafty life. It's going to be a bit like Parkinson, although not quite as good. Um, but I, I think, think I, I said to Debbie earlier good. on that like half an hour is probably not long enough to get all the chat from you, Debbie, because <laughs> I, I feel it might be like a part one, then we'll do part two. <laughs> but if anyone's got any questions they want me to ask Debbie uh, when we record that tomorrow, fire them in in the show and, uh, you know. So I feel like you've, you, you've done quite a lot and I feel like um, you've got a few stories to... To tell. I mean, some oh. we might not be able to tell, but there'll be some we can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> there'll be some that have to stay. To, yeah, yeah. After water, sh is it water <laughs> shed? They call it after, after nine o'clock. Then maybe that might be different. But yeah, I've got. Uh, well, this is what I was telling producer Nick Kelly. We've all got stories to tell, haven't we? In his lives. Yeah. Um, and we've all lived lived a life. Oh, at Jamie. How old are you, Jamie? Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, 21. I'm 21. I've lived a life. What's he talking about? <laughs> What's he talking about? Hey, I love that. <laughs> but we have, we've all got stories to tell. We all have, you yeah. know, and, and that's the thing. And I've, I've led quite um, a very varied life. Yes. Uh, a, but, but I think it's interesting to talk about that because I, I think maybe a few people watching just sort of assume that, you know, we've always been here or this is, you know, this is all we've ever done, you know, this kind of yeah. thing. But I think it'd be interesting to find out actually that a lot of us have done a lot of very different things and... Obviously, for you, your way that you got into craft, I think, is a really interesting story. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm even more excited because I'm the first. You will be. I'm your first, number one. Yay! Uh, I did say I'm normally last in everything, so I'm really excited to be um, to be going first. This, uh, better this make time. it good. It might be first and last if it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean you. I mean, we, no pressure, we, Ben. No we, pressure. No, wow. We, we better make I it mean, good. I mean, the insults that have been flying this week from my Ben. I mean, I never expected no. it. From my Ben, only Wednesday, it. and I've already had. I've got a moustache. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I've I heard say? also. You did say I got a moustache. Oh yeah, well I, yeah. I didn't. It came out wrong. It came out wrong, didn't it? I know. Yeah. I let you off. Yeah. But yes. Uh, well, I'm, I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, I think that'll be really good. Um, yeah. Now, all I'm going to I'm going to tell you this bit. But this bit might be. Uh, people will be thinking, "Why should we cut in all those flowers?" But we are. We're going to cut out loads of these big petals. And like I said, everything that we don't use, that is absolutely fine because what we'll have got is a ton of flowers, and we've got plenty of time as well. Yeah. And that's the thing. We don't have to worry. And I did say to you, this craft along. Mm. I. I <laughs> Go on, tell us what we. I'll tell the story. Me and Debbie could have been going home in 35 minutes. Because <laughs> I did say. I was on the craft along a couple of weeks ago and like? um, I asked who'd got the floral creations because uh, I launched them I think if I remember rightly I think, think I launched them yeah. and I was like who's got the, who's got the craft along who's got, uh, like I always am mm. and Nicola said oh it's me you've got an hour and I went oh no need more than an hour I was like and, and so they granted me I wish of an hour but in my head when I was doing this project <coughs> It was me out and craft along. So a um, little bit of a faux pas there, but uh, do you know what that means? We can craft more, we can chat more, um, and we could, we, well, Ben can craft. Are you, are you going on over there, by the way? I've, got, uh, I've done a fairly big pile of flowers. I've got like, these are the colors I'm using. So I've got blues, oranges, I've got sort of like a, a light pink and a sort of um, purple color going on. So I'm just cutting, so I'm just using the flowers now. We're not cutting like um, so any I'm foliage. Using, so, so I'm going to sw just switch to a few of the other flowers that are on here. Now, in oh, each one of your floral creations, you will have like a little cheat sheet of oh. flowers that you can put together now yeah. some of these you can double up as well but it gives you different configurations from the centers which we'll be coming to in a second because we've not even touched on those yet no um, you've got your uh, stamens here different like sunflower or echinacea you've got all those different kinds of uh, flowers on here so we're going to use some of those and it tells you which dyes that you need so in, in my craft along I've got one of these here with these smaller three pieces so I'm going to bring these into the equation 
now so i'm stopping with the big full flowers and i'm going to move over to some of these oh okay because um i want to add um, different styles of flowers on there as well now if i just bring that back in for a second you can see and i'm going to put quite a few down again in different colors but i'm just going to start with these kind of colors first um you can see here this is the three that i'm talking about then we've got like uh let me find the other ones where they've gone because that's the little small ones uh, we've got these lovely ones down in the bottom corner um, and we'll be using those stalks as well so they'll be coming into the equation soon um you've got these um lovely balloon flowers here as well so oh, you using okay. those. oh debbie what have you done now how many times i've done this where i've dropped my flowers all over the floor so we're gonna have to pause here for a second oh, because I i've chat. dropped all my blinking flowers that i had on the desk just a second ago all over the floor and uh, that's not what we want to do so well, while i get to um, yes. i was gonna say get on my hands and knees but i'm actually gonna ask ben to go and do that for me because um if i get down there i'll never get back up um but yeah so i just need to pause just a second sorry ben because i know you were in your element then it's fine. You were getting, you were getting yourself carried away. It's fine. Um, just to have a little pause while I uh, re-gather everything together. Okay. That's scattered all over the floor. I will come over. I was going to do a few hellos, but I'm needed. So we're going to take a short little pause. Um, and when we come back, I'll say a few hellos. We'll see how Victoria's getting on. But I've got to go over there and get down on my hands and knees. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. I've always crafted. Um, I think because my parents worked at Shepparton Studios, I, I lived, I grew up at Shepparton. Um, they were always working, so my holidays, my weekends and my evenings were spent at, at the um, studios. And i just sort of sit around with the other artists and they'd give me a bit of clay to play with or some fabric. Um, so we were, I was always making things and there were a couple of us, a couple of children around the same sort of age. And we just used to make clothes for our, our Cindy dolls. I'm flighty with my crafts. Um, I want to try everything, so I go all out and I decide tomorrow I'm going to be doing candle making and I buy all the stuff and I make candles and then I lose interest and then I move on to the next thing. I want to be able to have a little go at all sorts of crafts and I've always been like that ever since I was a small child so I think I can turn my hand and give anything a go. My craft inspiration I think comes a lot that comes from the internet, looking online, being able to watch um, sort of artists producing bits and pieces as well as sort of um, you know, just general crafters. A lot of my inspiration came from um, sort of my mum and my mum's friends, which were all sort of um, great designers and um, people that, that created all sorts of different things. The Crafters TV audience have been so kind to me. So when I first started, and I've not been here a huge amount of time, and I've done a little bit of presenting, I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting, and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in. You know, we see the same same people, and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do, and they're pleased. And I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made when they've been inspired by the shows, I think that's great. My biggest achievement, it's, um, it, it, when I put it on social media, I said that I was more proud of this than I was when I had my children. Um, it was when I won um, a, a Demo of the Week. I was just absolutely gobsmacked that I'd won Demo of the Week. I don't often win Demo of the Day, so to win Demo of the Week, I was really, really super excited. 
Oh God, I can't give you the gossip because I promised that I wouldn't give any of the gossip away, but it is great. Um, we Lots of us stay overnight in a house here, um, which is brilliant because we all get to know each other on a like real personal kind of level rather than just colleagues. So it's a really great atmosphere. And there's so much to learn from all of these people that I work with. So I, I feel really quite blessed um, to be part of this. And it is a happy family, I have to be honest. Oh, hello. Um, we just we got all the bits. It's good. It's fine. Um, a few hellos before we carry on. Uh, Kendall's joined us from Minnesota. Jane L. Safdie's in the south of France. Hello also to Bren W. from Erie, Pennsylvania. Jen says, I'm crafting along. Jen Shank, uh, been making flowers all morning. Yes. Uh, Sharon Tidmas, uh, Tidmas says, good afternoon from a chilly and grey Nottinghamshire. Not crafting, but looking forward to watching whilst I relax and soak up the inspiration. Barbara R is in. Uh, Rhonda's in from Oak Park, Chicago. Uh, Lindsay Gibson's in from uh, the Scottish Borders. Her first craft along. Ooh, nice one. Love it. Um, Clarice is in from South Carolina. And Lillian says, hi Debbie, I love your hair up. Oh, thank you, Lillian. I'm um, so glad you've, yeah, you're back, Ben. It was a long week without you. Aww. Aww. Um, my floral creation set just arrived. Can't wait to see what you make, Ben. If you can do it, anyone can. With a... No, no, that's fine. No, Jamie's just gone, wow. That's no. I stand by that. If I, I would say it about myself. If I can do it, anyone can. Uh, Pat says, hi, Ben and Debbie, the wonderful team and my crafting buddies from a rainy New Jersey, wishing everyone a wonderful Wednesday. Uh, and Michael says, well, 54 years as a butcher, retired ex-DJ, like me, and a, a bear collector coming yes. up to 70 on April the 12th, and I'm now into crafting. That's Michael Adams. Oh, has Stephanie finally taken him onto the other side? Taking him onto the, the crafting side? side? The crafting side. Ah. But, but <laughs> taking it him onto the dark the side. Dark side. <laughs> <laughs> didn't it go to show, though, that you can take this crazy crafting malarkey up whenever you want you don't absolutely, have to be any age yeah absolutely you know? absolutely now love. finally we rescued the flowers um and i did say i'm going to stop with the flowers because i think i've got a fair few there mm -hmm. um so i'm going to move to um some of those um stamens now you've got some nice choices in here because you've even got little ditty ones for your little baby flowers ah. however I am terrible for losing these. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm probably gonna put a couple of gems in mine. So that I'm going to retire those back onto my magnetic sheet. Just because um, the way I've been going with losing things. And there, you've got, had a bit of a time I have of it, a haven't feeling you? I may have a little bit of a, um, yeah, I, I've just decided, no, I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Um, do you know as well, Ben, you could cut some nice white ones out. Oh, uh, yeah. You could use your white cardstock and use just, what, a, couple just, of, white couple, just a couple of little white flowers. White, oh, okay. Yeah, they would look nice. And I suppose you could use that, your your, um, use that for your stamens as well, couldn't you? The yes, whites. yeah, you could, yeah. Potentially. Absolutely, I we've think. got loads. Now, I'm gonna switch to um, a little bit of green because we're gonna do, I'm, I'm still gonna be doing some of these. And these ones, the same ones, are brilliant for scrap busters, honestly, brilliant. But I'm gonna bring in some green and I've got a couple of sheets here of different shades Ooh. because I'm gonna now bring in these because these are my favorite. The, oh, the foliage? The, yes, the foliage, darling, the foliage. Foliage. And we want to create quite a few. So I've got some leaves, these cut out a couple of leaves. Okay. Um, if you want to put your stalks, stems, Put those on as well, get a couple of those in. What's that one you just put down there? Is that, that's like a... Which one? A banner you just put down. What, what is that one? That's, that's the stems. Oh! Yeah, they're the stems, so you can put your stems onto there as well. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. I'm going to put a few on, actually. Okay. Now you said that. Um, so. Yeah. So, again, the choice is yours. This yeah. is... And this is the beauty of this collection. Definitely. There's loads of choice. Oh, my... I, honestly. 32 dies in total. Yeah. You're not going to be short of... You're uh... never going to be short. And the florals, we've said this often enough, to have a dedicated, and I mean a dedicated small, small bundle this time, and I'm not, I don't mean like a massive great big bundle, but a nice small bundle for us to be able to use, um, because in craft, that's exactly... These are the kind of things that we want to, to have to hand. Mm. Yeah. Uh, at an instance, when whether you want to use it as a focal part or whether you want to use it as um, a little tiny embellishment, yeah. uh, then you've got them. And that's why they will be, and I'm, what I mean, I, I say this to you all the time, I've got sentiments at the side, I've got butterflies at the side of me, some nesting dies. They're the ones that I reach to all the time. 
when I want to add a bit of something yeah. to my projects. And they're the ones that I go to time and time again. And these, newfound favourite. I'll tell you favorite. what, it's the only problem with this is that you have got so much choice. I think I'm, I'm sort of dithering around trying to think, of, you know, which are the ones I want to use and which one I want to cut because there's just tons and tons of choice in here yeah and just cut loads and I am going to cut some white out as well because I'm because I'm using sake with flowers paper um, it's quite a bold paper and I want a little bit of something something quite striking against it to okay. make it pop um, so definitely definitely um, I'm going to use a bit of white as well um, so let's just move all of those to one side I'm going to do a few more of those. Got I want plenty of leaves, so I'm going to be cutting quite a few leaves. Okay. So I'm not going to be using like the same ones over and over again. I'm going to mix them up a little bit mm. and mix them up in colours too. So let me bring in the darker one. Oh, uh, okay. Platform over. What are you like with flowers in real life, Debbie? I love them. Are you good at arranging them? Um. Mm, no. Mm, <laughs> mm, no. Yeah. Um. We'll take that as a no. Yeah, I, I love them, I, and I love receiving them, and it's not very often I get them. Oh, oh, um, but no. yeah, I love receiving them, and um, yeah, I do love them. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. You're better at making. Uh... I'm better at make, making them in paper than I am in real. Yeah, that, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not very good with the real life, real life <laughs> uh, flower. I would love to though. I've seen Sarah do a couple of. Um, uh, flower arranging classes. Oh, uh, yeah, I've seen up that. Up at Redworth, actually. Do you yeah. know, not just round corner. Yeah. Um, and I've often been tempted, and I think, would I be any good at it? And I think I, I, think I would, actually, if yeah. I put my mind to it. Um, I think because you're very creative in this sort of style of, you know, organisation with, like, a card, I think you probably would be, because I think you'd have an eye for it. I'd like to think I, think I had. Would. I would like to think I, I had. Think you would. Thank you. You're so sweet. I know. I'm really enjoying this. Do you know what? Even if I don't actually get round to sticking any of this on my card, I'm having the best time die cutting. Oh, I know. Do you I know, isn't it just? It's just like the best thing in the world, isn't it? Like, yeah. It is very therapeutic. It is do. very therapeutic. It mm. is. And then when you when you start building up your stash, and we are building up a stash here, yeah. um, it's really lovely to... And, and you can see I've got piles and piles of them. And I'm not going to stop just yet because I do want a few more. And I'm going to cut... Um, I want, yeah, I want a few options. I want some stamens and I want some white. So I'm going to do some white oh, in a yeah. minute. Um, even though there's no white in the actual collection, I want a few, like, like I said, just to just to give it that little bit of a pop factor. A little bit, it pops out a little bit. Um, so that's what I'm definitely going to be the doing as well. Factor. A pop factor. Pop, pop factor. Pop that there. Um, just whilst we're crafting away here as well, we can say hi to uh, Candice, who says, my birthday was February the 19th. Uh, had I been born 10 days later, tomorrow would be my 19th birthday. Oh. How old am I? <laughs> I'm not going to work that out. Uh, <laughs> uh, but happy birthday, Candice. Evelyn says hi from sunny Colorado. Um, Evelyn also says it looks like Ben has had an, an explosion in front of him. What are you trying to say? <laughs> have you got quite a few laid out there, Ben? Uh, I've not got as many as you, but I think the fact is I've got... I've got... I only swore then. <laughs> I've got stuff everywhere. <laughs> Stuff everywhere. <laughs> um, Bless you. I've got a lot of stuff. You've got lots of place. stuff. Yeah. Lots, lots of stuff. Of stuff. Um, Ooh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> wow. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to have some white stamens as well because I do love, and I love the, I love this one. We once that? did a big set of flowers like that, and I'm so pleased we've got it as a little stamen in this yeah. collection. Oh, that one. It looks like a little molecule. Yes. Yeah. I love it. So I'm going to. I'm going to fill my white up now, and I'm going to do a couple of these. I'm going to do that um, too. You could try as well uh, doing a couple of cuts. So some of your more solid rounded ones will do a double cut. Um, things that are a bit more filigree, um, you probably wouldn't be able to get away with. Um, so in terms of your um, white cardstock or all your textured cardstock, you absolutely could try. I do, I do love a bit of white. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. And and you'll see why. It's just it's just going to help with the um, with the design. Yeah. Oh. And I'm looking forward to seeing um, Victoria's yeah. uh, ones with her uh, shimmer inks because I think they're lovely. Not the shimmer inks. Sorry. The um, the water. Oh, the, the oh, sunbeam. Thank you. Moonbeam. What especially are they and especially. Palettes. Do you know if you were cutting them into black and then using those? Oh my life. That will look divine as well. Yeah, I can't wait to see uh, 
And this is the lovely thing about the craft alongs, your projects and your designs and yeah. Uh, the, the amount of different ways you see people create things. I will tell you this has got a couple of release holes. However, you do need to get your poke tool just underneath it to release it that little bit more. So rather than struggling and ripping the design, uh, just bear that in mind. Oh, don't lose you. Um, and just bring these out. And again, because these are filigree, be careful when you're taking them out because <laughs> once or twice when I was doing craft along, I ended up doing like a little bit of a pull and turning. Yeah. Oh. So we don't want to tear anything. No, we don't. Oh, they are little delicate bits. They little, are, uh, yeah. So just be careful when you are doing that. Yeah. Um, and again, I've just seen a little bit left over there, so I'm just going to grab my poker tool just to remove that. Do you know what? I can't believe we're 40 minutes into the show. I always say this to you, like, over this side of the studio, time flies. But then when you, like, factor in the crafting side of things as well, the time absolutely disappears, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. It, it really does. That's no word of a lie. That absolu absolutely does. It literally... Good... And I said, oh, yeah, we'll get this done in an hour. Good job we didn't say an hour, isn't it? <laughs> How's Victoria doing? Is Victoria doing okay? We can pop in and see and uh, say hello. Well, we can do, because I'm just doing a little bit of die cutting. So if you want to pop in and see how Victoria is doing, or am I spoiling your fun now, Ben, by saying no, well, that? No, I'm multitasking. I can, I can chat and craft. Oh, well, I you know, love it. I can... Look at you, double <laughs> whammy. Yes. How are you getting on, Victoria? Hi, I'm good. Are you... Um, are you... I'm... Are you cutting ones for this make now, or are you using the ones that you'd already cut? Well, I think I'm going to use the ones that I've already cut, but I'm cutting some um, white ones as well. Yeah. Good. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, nice. But they're the one. Yeah, the um, the double-sided with the with a hint of gold. Yes. Ooh, sensual yeah. pearl. Lovely. Very nice. And are you going to be? Um, are you going to be inking up some of your flowers as well, then? Mm, I don't think I'm going to be inking. No, but I got some lovely... Uh, when I was painting with the Sunbeam oh, colour palette. That. Yeah, I've got some... Oh, my... That's, that's beautiful. Like, I've just put all the colours next to each other and then yeah. just cut the flowers out. So some of them have... Double colours. Well, that so is to speak. fantastic. I was, I'm glad you're having a good time. Are you um, are you in like a designated craft room there? Have you got your own craft room, or is it sort of like, where, where are you crafting right now? Uh, I have a desk in my bedroom, which ah. is just right in front of my bed. So yeah. whenever I'm tired, I can just basically hop over my table and I'm right in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Just crawl over the table. I love that. Into, into bed. Does, um, does Violet craft with you as well? Oh, she loves crafting, yes, yeah. She loves colouring and um, doing all kinds of, um, yeah, crafty bits. And um, I like 3D projects as well. It's so nice, um, isn't it, when you can share your love and your hobby with your, with, your, uh, with your children as well? Yes, it is very lovely. Yeah. How old is she? Absolutely. She's going to be seven on the 9th of March, actually, so... Oh, cool. Yes. Is she wanting crafty stuff for her birthday? Mm, no, she actually wants a phone and a computer. <laughs> she wants a what? She wants a phone and a computer, <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Hey, bless her. So right. she can. Um, what's it? What she? What she wants to play? Um, Roblox. Oh, yeah. Roblox. She's into Roblox at the moment and things like that, but yeah. uh, she's actually a little bit too young for that still, mm, but yeah. sometimes she's she's allowed to play. Yeah, <laughs> so. it was the same. I think my Daisy was about the same age when she wanted a phone, and we just I had like a really old phone, which we sort of pretended was the, the latest thing, but... Yeah. yeah. And it was, more, it was more for that that she... I, I think that was the game, actually, Roblox or uh, Crossy Road or something it was called, where you have to get the... <laughs> the thing across the road it was more for the fact she just wanted to play games rather than keep in touch with us you know <laughs> exactly yes <laughs> yeah she just wants to play on the phone and yeah. like watch watch videos and things so i have um, a question for you victoria oh, yeah? uh, because, yes please um, jamie told me that you've been somewhere because i have noticed that your home is bandaged up and i recognize that kind of bandage um so it, it looks like you've had some new artwork done but on your skin Yes, exactly. Ooh. Yeah, I got this gem today. And is it this a pink is it gem. floral? Like, I'm, I'm struggling to see from this angle. Is it a floral? It's a gem. Oh, a gem. 
Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. wow. I've got to try and, like... Oh, that's oh, amazing. Oh, beautiful. I, yeah. Uh, my, my daughters uh, are well into... Um, well, my youngest daughter is, not my eldest. My youngest daughter is uh, into body, uh, body art. And, uh, yeah, I, lo I love to see people's work. I know it's not for everybody. No. I've got some. <laughs> I'd be surprised you to know. Look at Chip and <laughs> face. I've got a few as well. So, um, oh, I've then got one. Is it a I very, no. very small one? What? A very... I never knew that. It's a small I one. I, I had that. it done when I was younger. I was actually chatting to um, uh, Jake out there. He's got one on his arm. Because I was, I was thinking about it getting covered up with something else. And I was asking how much it hurts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how much does it hurt, Victoria? <laughs> That's that's always the thing um, with with like pain thresholds. Mine is quite high, so I hit my daughter without any medication whatsoever. Wow. Oh, Lord, and um, she was about six weeks early as well. So, but it was all very quick. Yeah. Um, so in like probably two and a half hours, and then the thing was done. <laughs> so, <laughs> but. I, I I have a very very high pain threshold, so it's not really pain to me. But then, if you're sitting there for like six hours, then after five six hours, it gets a bit like, yeah. okay, yeah, we can stop now. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking Jake about his. He said he went by me saying he said he was literally like this for the whole thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jamie, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Try having babies, right, Debbie? <laughs> Did you hear that, Debbie? I heard that, yeah, yeah. definitely. That is uh, very true. And uh, Jake's, uh, Jake's missus has had two. They've just, they've, uh, they've just recently, not long ago, since yeah. had their second child. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These men, eh? These men. Uh, what do they know about yeah. pain thresholds? <laughs> Useless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh look at Jamie. Wow. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you've got a lot to learn, Jamie. You're only 21. 21, 22? 21. 21. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, my God, what a baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, dear. Right, I think I've got quite a fair few. Um, and literally, I, when I say a fair few, um, I've got quite a lot of flowers and foliage to be working with. Um, I've actually cut out some different flowers as well here, so we'll, we'll have a little play with these. Um, so there's a nice bit to be going with, and anything that I need to add extra, I can do. But um, I think what we're going to do now is, first of all, I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping, and I'm going to put everything back onto my magnets. Uh-oh. Because yeah. I don't trust myself. Okay. Um, and then we'll do some shaping, and if... If anybody does want to add ink at this stage, you're more than welcome to add some ink, but uh, I'm going to do a little bit of shaping. Um, so for now, Ben, I'm just going to pause just a second again, yeah. um, just to get everything back onto the sheets where I need them to be um, so that I can come back to them when I need to use them, if I need to use them, because I have got quite a bit on here uh, for my Craft Along projects to be working with for now. OK, well, uh, we can come back to me for a moment and I'll... Uh, I'm just... Uh, I'm just still cutting a few bits and bobs out. I feel like I, I think I've cut enough. Um, but yeah, it's fun this, right? Well, hopefully you, uh, you guys are having a, a great time with this. I know we've got a few crafting along as well at home. So um, if we get towards the end, do make sure you send in your, um, your pictures. Um, let's have a look at a few comments coming through. Uh, Christine's joined us saying hello, beautiful Debbie and brilliant Ben. Um, I just love Debbie's makes and her chat. If you love Debbie's chat, make sure you get ready for that first episode of Craft Stories coming your way very soon. <laughs> uh, ben is crafting today, says Deborah. Yippee! Um, Michael says, it's cream egg chocolate bar night tonight whilst watching the show. I've seen it now. He sent me what? a picture. Except Michael sent me a picture because Michael and Stephanie's uh, 17th birthday anniversary yesterday. Yeah. So they sent me a picture of because um, I've never I've not seen it here, here in the UK. So it's the Cadbury's cream um, bar chocolate. I've not heard um, that. I haven't seen it anywhere. So Michael sent me a picture. And now I know what I'm looking for. Still haven't still haven't found one anywhere. Uh, but uh, now I know what I'm looking for because I do love a cream egg mm. and Cadbury's chocolate Mwah, together. So uh, that'll be an enjoyable night for you uh, for you both Enjo enjoying your um, cream egg chocolate bar. No. Yes. Yes. Um, Crafty says, uh, Crafty Andy says, Ben, I love it when you're crafting. 
I got my Floral Creation Showstopper in the mail yesterday. Uh, not crafting though, but possibly later. Uh, and Deborah says, Ben has a tat. I can't believe that. I, I, I was very young. It's on my uh, shoulder. It's very small, very rubbish. Um, I can't believe Debbie's got a tat. I've got a few. What? I've got one, two, three, four, four. Have you? Yeah, four. There you go, see? They're all, they're all well hidden. Okay, I was going to say, before you all ask in the comments, we're not showing them. No. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Um, and Deborah says, I'm afraid of needles, so I'd never have a tat. Uh, she, Deborah says, Victoria's right, though, having babies is hard enough. <laughs> I think it was you that said that, wasn't it, Debbie, actually? But yeah, anyway. Um, what are you doing now over there, you say? I've just cut in a couple of extras. Oh. I realised there were another little flower on there and I thought, oh, I want another one. I want Did another couple of bits. Did you cut some stamens in white as well? Uh, you stamens. can do, yes. I've got, I've got me... Is that the middle bits? Oh, you've got, like, leaves in white. So I've got, got leaves, leaves in, in white. white. It's got oh. some of the foliage in white. So mm, okay. there's, like, a bit of a mixture. Got, that's all my foliage. I've got a few stems here as well because we're going to build up, like, some different styles of flowers. OK. So you can see. And, again, you've got your little cheat sheet on there to be working with. Oh, I should have used that. The, oh, this one is, like, um, a three-way, uh, especially if you're doing it in different colours, where you can build it up. Let me just push this to one side. So you can see, and you can build that one up and then you can attach it to um, one of the stems as well. So you already you can see how you can start to build these up um, and create some different kind of flowers. Um, uh, and then, yeah. Yeah, like, like I said, that cheat sheet, I'll just bring it back in again just for a second. This is your project. Yeah. It's down to you how you want to configure, what flowers you want to do. I'm going to show you some of mine, uh, but you can absolutely uh, mix and match your floral. So this is the same flower, but with the two different middles. So that's the, the large middle, circular middle, and that's that gorgeous firework one, I call it. Yeah. Um, I know it's probably got a different name. Uh, this one is that three-way one that's been doubled up and then had that lovely little um, firework middle, centre, say stamen. And the same with this. You've got the two different options, or should I say three different options because that flower oh I need to remember to cut another one out actually um, you're going to double up so it's not a single one it's a double so we're going to cut a couple of those uh, more okay, as yeah. well and then it carries on so you, those lovely little I'm going to call them bulbous ones but I don't know what they're called actually What's it, which one these here let me just grab them yeah so these ones oh. and on the sheet they're purple oh. And then they've got the green stem coming from the centre. So if I just push that there for a second. Mm. Like, no, 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 like little balloons, Jamie. Yeah, mm. they do. Um, so, yeah, you've got different ways that you can build up these flowers. And you've got a sheet there. This one is one of your large dies. And if I just bring that in for a second. So it's this particular die, which is like a stem. But then you can keep that as it is. Or you can add... And it looks really effective when you add that one. And I can't remember the name of that. There's probably somebody out there now screaming at the screen. Um, but you've got all those that you attach to each end. So you could do that as well. So lots of different ways that you're going to be able to use this. And if you're brave enough, do yeah. it. Yeah. Have a go. Um, you know, th this is the thing about this floral set. Lots of different ways that you can create your flowers and your florals with, um, which is why I love it so much. I'm not going to lie. What Possibly one of my favourite collections that we've launched this year. Um, seriously, seriously good. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, it is fantastic. I, <laughs> it does look like an explosion here, doesn't it? If you... Um, if you do want to, I would show you the floral uh, creations collection, but I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> if you Have do, you got quite a nice bit over there then? I've got, I've got, yeah, we should probably best to do our pictures. I've got a nice pile of orange flowers, nice pile of purple and pink and blue flowers. I've got a pile of my green foliage, and then I've got a pile of whites, which is mainly like the little inner stamen bits and the little circular, you know, the things, don't know what you call them. So, um, yeah, I've not really looked at the cheat sheet, so I'll just but sort that's of the thing. build it, as you we go. Don't, you don't have to use that cheat sheet. That cheat sheet is there yeah. to give you, because not only does it give you the flowers, if I turn it over the other side, it gives you some example pieces. Ah. So it shows you how you can build up your flowers. Yeah. And if you wanted that to be all green, I mean, that looks stunning in all green. I'm going to have a little light green and a dark green together mm. um, and lots of different colors. And then it even gives you some ideas on how to compose. This is just ah. a couple of ideas for you. Like I Said, a little cheat sheet that gets you um, gets you started. I love the, the little bouquet. I might do a little bouquet on mine like that. Yeah, exactly. If that's what you want to do, yeah, absolutely. He's, he's shown he's show craft along. No. Show craft along. I can't believe you not looked at that all this time. Did you launch these with me? Did you not? No, 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 no. I, lo I looked at that side. Yes. Turn it over. 
You didn't turn it over? No. <laughs> I wonder how many other people have done the same. Not many. And not... <laughs> Uh, Sarah says, has anyone written on their flower sheet the actual name of each flower? Well, if you have, let us Send know. Send it in. Send us in so we can see it. Because <laughs> that would be... I know, I'm sure there's an echinacea in there. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Um, and Ruth Smiley says, good evening, Ben. Hello, Ruth and Debbie and all the crew and all other crappy people. Um, lovely to have you with us, Ruth. If you want to see the... Oh, it's done. <laughs> if you want to see the showstopper... This is it, so everything here is what you're going to get. Um, we don't have many of these, as we've already discussed. If you're wanting the opportunity to jump in and grab this, you're going to have to be fairly quick. But the Showstopper brings you, of course, your collection of dies. Right, you've got 32 of those. You're going to get the stamps in there. You get your little box, of course, so you can, once you've cut all of your flowers and foliage, you can pop that in there. And, of course, as we found out <laughs> the other day, you can remove the tabs to make the, 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 the sizes of the the sizes of the box um, as big as you need them to be. You're then also going to get, of course, your 60 sheets of your linen cardstock in the three by six, so perfect size for you to be able to cut out all your flowers and foliage with. But then if you go for the showstopper, you're going to get all of those other goodies as well. So for an extra 20, you're getting 40 pounds or 55 dollars worth of goodies which is that magnetic die stand which of course we uh, launched originally didn't we when the gemini 2 came out you've got to get the wild at heart a4 linen cardstock 24 sheets of that 24 sheets of your kingfisher and you've also got your bottle of collar glue just to say if you do want to go whether you go showstopper or whether you go for the individuals or whether you go for the bundle it's all coming off the stock of what we've got left and that is eight so you're going to have to be quick to make your mind up if you want to take advantage of this and of course the other good thing about getting this today is this showstopper this showstopper this craft along is there forever as, as is all our content all right never disappears never goes anywhere um so if you ever want to go back and you know watch any of the shows or if later down the line you pick this up and you think oh i quite like to do that craft along that debbie did it's always there for you um whether you're watching on facebook or probably the best thing to do is to subscribe to us on youtube and then you've got um all of the videos there. We were chatting about this the other day, actually, and I think it even goes back as far as the days when producer Johnny used to film shows on his phone with uh, Sarah in the cupboard. I think, I think it goes back literally that far. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's true, it does. Yeah. You laugh, I that's what happened, didn't it? I remember when I first it? started, because it didn't used to be Crafters TV. It no. Were, we, we came up and filmed and we did, we, we, did, we did it all. This was the day before you, Ben. Yeah. And we used to do the, um, what the product was, tell the prices, do the comments and craft. That's, yeah. all we, that's what we used to do back in the day. So that was before we evolved to Crafters TV. Um, yeah, we were talking about that, reminiscing on the old days, weren't we? Yeah. yeah. And it was funny because uh, we just say, like, when Johnny, because we didn't have, like, the gallery, so Johnny would be there, like, holding up whiteboards, wouldn't he? Yeah. With instructions of what he wanted you to do next. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, back, in the, back in the good old days. Uh, looks like Debbie and Ben are having a ball with those flowers. Good on them, says Sarah Muir. Uh, thank you, everyone, for all the lovely comments coming through. Um, yeah, we are having a lot of fun. And as we get into the second hour of the show, in just a few moments' time, um, we will be constructing and um, putting together our little project. I'm quite excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Don't forget, just as we get ready for the next step of the craft along, of course, on the website, you have got the Leap 10 section. Uh, we're celebrating. Are we celebrating? We're acknowledging the fact that it is a leap year. Um, so we're giving you the opportunity to use that code LEAP10 where you can get an extra 10% off the array of goodies that we've got in that section on the website. And I believe it is still well over 1,900 items uh, wow. that you can use that code on. And as we discovered a little bit earlier, thanks to you guys um, chipping in and telling us, we have got items on there which are fairly new. Items that we might have launched as recently as yesterday. I don't even ask. Are I you kidding? Know. No, I'm not joking. Does wow. this look like a face that jokes? Um, but there's loads of goodies on there, so do have a look. And the other good thing about that, of course, as well, is, is that if you do jump in and use that code, that LEAP10 code today, and check out items in that section of the website, then, of course, you will receive another code that you can use in March, which will be 15% off, I think, another section of the website, which we will um, give the opportunity to get all of those goodies. So, yes, do make sure you shop. And as I said, the Floral Creations uh, collection as well, you need to make sure you're picking that up. Don't wait until the end of the show, because the likelihood is those final few items 
will disappear um, and you'd be gutted, wouldn't you? So if you like the idea of crafting with this kit, make sure you get it right now um, and then you'll be able to do this craft along with us, of course, because it will stay there on our YouTube page forever. If you've just joined us, hello. Where have you been? We're having the time of our lives. We've got a craft along going on. We're having a bit of a flower party. We've got Debbie over there leading the way. You've got me making a hell of a mess. You've got Victoria in uh, Preston who's getting attacked by bunny rabbits. Uh, it, is, <laughs> it is all going on, but the, the good news is we are having a great time. It's lovely to have you with us. We are using the Floral Creations collection. Details on your screen here. Uh, less than eight of those left now. Um, and uh, Debbie, for people who have just joined us, of course, they can go back and watch the first hour and catch up with us. But I mean, mainly all we've done really in that first hour is um, cut out a load of the flowers and the foliage ready to build our project and, yeah. and ready to make the, I mean, the, exactly. the home deco piece, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So I've got them all laid out here because in order to do some shaping, we're going to stick the centres in. Whilst you were busy talking there, I actually cut one out and stuck all my little leaves on. Um, I, haven't, I haven't run it through again because I quite like leaving those two um, empty, but of course, this is just a, an added little bonus. I hadn't put that in the original one, but I just thought, oh, I fancy, I fancy adding that in. Yeah. Um, so I've uh, just popped that together. So we are going to do a bit of um, shaping our flowers now. Are we? This is the stage where you can add some colour as well. Are you? Um, have you got a sponge? Have you got no. a ball tool? No. Did you forget that bit? Was that on the list? Oh, actually. You tell me to get a scoreboard, <laughs> and I didn't need one. Do you know, it's my own fault. It's because I, I was, I was, you're not linking mine, are you? What? My sponge on my own. No, just, I can just, is that one all right? Uh, you're okay with that one, yeah? Yep. Uh, what, el what else do you need? I need a sponge. Need a sponge. Now, we did have two sponges, because I got told off the other day. Did you? By Liam. He told me off for having two, uh, two sponges. So maybe I'd... shout our little Jakey Poos. I could do it in my hand, couldn't I? You can do it with your hand. Back of a stamping mat. Oh, back of a stamping mat. That'd yeah, if you grab a stamping mat, you could use the back of a stamping mat as well. Yeah. Uh, back in the day before we had these sponges, that's exactly how I used to shape my... It's exactly how I used to shape mine. Uh, right, so... <laughs> Got my scoreboard, that's the good news. Throwing some shade at me there, Nicola. Throwing some shade at me. Do you know, at least you've got your scoreboard. I don't know why that scoreboard was on there. I'm going to book. I'm going to have a look back at my email and see if I actually put that down because I'm convinced I didn't. Won't be tired. You ever got it wrong if I'm it wasn't there? I'm convinced I did not put a scoreboard down on there. Uh, right. Are you ready? So we'll do. We'll do a little bit of shaping now. I'm going to shape quite a few of these. Okay. Um, now there's lots of ways that you can do this. So you can grab poker tools, and poker tools can uh, come in handy as well. So we'll we'll use a poker tool in a second. But I'm just going to use my ball tool now. I'm turning mine over, yeah. and I'm going to distress those edges of those petals by pushing it into the sponge and rolling my ball tool over it yeah and I'll, I'll do it with another uh, style of that flower but we'll uh, we'll we'll change it up a little bit and um, we'll we'll cup the we'll cup the centers yeah and then again just it's just all about giving them a little bit of a kneading is that the right word just a little bit of a little um, bit of shaping, little bit of shaping went, oh, bit of... <laughs> molding then it was stuck stuck to the bottom of me uh, what bottom. did you say then Molding. Oh, molding. Sounds wrong, but it's. It, but, but look, when you look at it now from the side view, you can see you've got that shape, yeah. and it gives you that little bit of. Um, it just gives it a bit of definition. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do that again with another one, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. So get the poke tool. I'm going to take the poke tool and wrap the centre around. Now you can do that where you wrap it in, and I'm, I'll change it up again with the next one. Um, and we've altered, and it's the same flower, but when you look at them side by side now, you wouldn't be able to tell that at all because it's just altered the shape so again it gives definition it gives 3d it's 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 shaping your flowers and you can see from that side view it just looked lovely that uh, jamie thank you it's yeah. giving you that definition and you're not having flat flowers yeah and the last thing you want is flat flowers that's it um, so that same pe that same flower again this time i'm going to cup it going downwards so i'm turning it over okay. yeah doing exactly the same where i'm wrapping my poker tool around it okay and I'm just going to do that on each one. And it just, just adds a layer of interest as well, doesn't it? Just adds like exactly, a few sort yeah. of like sort of creases to the petals exactly. and makes it look a bit and more look, natural. I've changed the shape of that flower again. Yeah. Um, and again, I'm just going to use my ball tool in the centre. But if I put those side by side now, you can see from that one flower design, 
if I just lift that, can you, oh there, thank you. You've gone from this to this one with the petals coming up to the petals coming down. So you can play around with them and shake them. And again, if I just push that into that side view, Jamie, I don't know if you can see them side by side. You're giving definition, you're giving shape to mm. your florals. And then you can also take them, and if I come in with one of the different shapes, in fact, no, let me see if I've got, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll grab that pink one. Um, you could just take your poke tool, cut them a minute in then, sorry, um, and shape each one of your petals. Now that could be shaped downwards or upwards, it's up to uh, you. Different ways of making it. Yeah, them. yeah. But okay. can you see you've turned it from, and I'll, I'll compare it with a flat one in a second, and I'll put those side by side again, because it is the, daft as it sounds, it's the same blinking flower shape, this one, but doesn't it look different? when you shape them and you've got four different styles there because it's gone from, that's where it looked, flat. But when you've just started to shape them in different ways, you've got lovely different, um, again, all, all, all 3D, they're all taking shape, they've all got, and you're just manipulating your paper and your cardstock. Yeah. And you can do that with any, vellum, cardstock, pattern paper, whatever it is that you're cutting yours out into, you can do that. And it just it just makes a nice difference when you're shaping them. Uh, so, Ben, right now, I want you to shape a lot of your flowers. I'm doing okay? it. Okay, yeah. As you've been uh, chatting away there, I'm doing a little bit, of, little bit of shaping, having a little bit of fun. I'm, I'm just using my ball to, I, I haven't got, um, I'm not going to do like the little thing you were doing with your tweezers then. But actually, it's quite nice to, like you say, getting into the centre, into the uh oh look at jamie look uh, it's just getting into the edge of the petals here just giving them a bit more of like a it gives them a little, little bit of definition effect. yeah because like you say nice isn't it to have them there flat but if you can just add a little bit of look like that a little bit of definition then it's just, just going to bring the project to life um clarice is just asking as well um if can we use the flower forming foam with these dies yes oh brilliant yes you can yeah um, so I, I got asked this question when I was down at Hobby Maker because I had them on last week at Hobby Maker, and you absolutely can uh, use your flower forming foam with those as well. Yeah. Um, and of course, then well. Well. I mean, it takes you into another realm of flower exactly, making, then, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. Exactly. Are you um, more of a, a, a paper flower girl, or do you prefer before, foam? Before or what? we used to use, before we had our foam, I was always a paper flower girl. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, it's just nice to have different ones in your in your crafty stash now and if you use you can cheat a little bit quicker Ben because you can use your big ball tool yes <laughs> and yes. you can shape with your your larger uh, larger ball right yeah but yeah and shape and and it's, it's very quick it's quick doing it that way as well yeah so you know what Beth says she does as well Beth Newb says I sometimes put the first one on flat and then I build the rest up for a different look. So you can Absolutely. leave some flat, yeah? Absolutely, do you know? Yeah, I was just going to say the same. If, you, if you're going to do a little bit of double layering, leave one flat and shape one and you'll get a completely different look. And mm. I'll probably do it with that one, although I think I've remembered I didn't cut my extra one. So I'll go back to that in a second. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you can double up. So if I just show you, these are the same two flowers. You can double up those to create some really fuller flowers. Yeah. Um, and oh, there's nice. nothing to stop you from doing it into two different colours either. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, there's so many different ways that you can use these you could take some do you like these three petaled ones let me bring these back in for a second where you've got the three different sizes yeah you could just give those a teeny wee little bit of shape yeah and then you could layer those up <coughs> excuse oh, so me put them inside so, each other so you could put them inside each other oh, to create a really okay. nice big full flower yeah uh, <coughs> excuse me i like them i like them single i'm not gonna lie yeah um it, it's good isn't it that you've got all these different options and like you said like do you know what? I mean, the first time I've sort of done something like this, you just have fun with this. Do, you know, do what um, you want to do. I've just taken some of like the bigger ones, um, sort of shape these up, give these a bit of shape. I'm going to take some of the smaller ones as well, overlay them. But I think, um, I've, yeah, yeah, I've, I think I'm going to, like you've just suggested, lay some of the smaller ones inside each of them, put some of the little stamens that I've cut out inside. I'm really excited, actually. And I think, because I know you've obviously done... Um, your sort of style of project there but i think as i said to you i'm going to make a little bouquet on the front of my absolutely project, why not I think. just kind of roll with my own creativity a little bit, little bit yeah exactly you, can, you know exactly of course you can yeah now you can put the stamens in before you start doing the shapes if you're going to do that that you know that's absolutely fine you can do that where you can take your stamens and put them in the middle yeah 
um, and then shape them. Um, I, I tend, I suppose it depends on the mood I'm in really, uh, but I'm just, I'm just going to do a few of these. I'm going to do lots of different colours, lots of different ways, and then I'll probably add the stamens in afterwards. So. Do you um, tend to just lightly shape the stamens as well? Um, so when I use it, now there's two ways you can use tacky glue to pop into the centre. Yeah. Um, I'm probably, in all honesty, going to use some hot glue for mine. Um, yeah. You just have to be careful if you are because uh, hot glue is exactly that. Hot. It is. Um, and that's when you would use a <laughs> uh, ball tool to do the shaping for you. Yeah. Um, I will be honest, the one, the project that I did, I used everything that I used in the centre was tacky glue. Oh, uh, okay. So you can use your tacky glues as well. Okay. I'm obviously not using hot glue because they wouldn't sign a risk assessment for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we didn't want to have to call the ambulance out at seven o'clock on a Wednesday night. Um, so that was the reason why. No, I, I know you've got to be, you do have to be careful with those. Of course you do, yeah. In, all, in all seriousness, yeah. you, you have to be careful with a hot glue gun. Um, because you can have a nasty accident with it. Um, but it is fantastic glue for sticking instantly. Um, it dry, to be fair, once it's dry, it dries. It doesn't stay hot for long once it's applied onto your, your, onto your paper and cardstock. Um, let me just move that one because that's a different floor. Well, let me move you over there. Um, I'm just going to continue to shape a few more because I think I've got quite a few here. Yeah. Um, well, whilst you... You're shaping um, more comments coming through. Thank yeah. you for all of those. Uh, lots of people um, enjoying the show. Update us as well if you're one of those people who, and obviously we've got Victoria crafting along with us um, in Preston. We'll, we'll pop and see her, I'm sure, shortly. But uh, if you are one of those people who's crafting along at home, um, do let us know how you're getting on and um, make sure you do send in your pictures. I'm kind of thinking hopefully we might have time towards the end of the show if we finish in good time to show them. But if not, you can always tag me and Debbie on our um, on Facebook as well on the socials, and then um, we can have a look at them a little bit later on. Quite excited actually to see what everyone comes up with because. Um, well, like I said, you know, if you're using inks and things like that, Ben, you're going to get a completely different look as well. So yeah. you could take and because they've got some nice. Um, do you know, in the, in the you'll know when you've got if you've got these at home. They've got lineage in there. They've got some shit. So they've got like a, a pattern in there, mm. um, like an embossed pattern. So you could um, add your inks to that as well, and that will make that stand out more. Um, like I said, glitters add glitters into there. The glitter glues. If you've got glitter glue and you don't want to put any stamens put your glitter glues in the centre oh that's um, such that'll a good look, idea that'll look incredible as well what was that was we've got Nicholas four in? left of the floor creations kits if you want to get one is basically and johnny was told he couldn't have any more because no. they've taken them from another area of the business so that once they're gone that is your lot so if you like the idea of doing this and it's and it is a versatile kit debbie isn't it i think i think um you know, we've had a lot of fun in this show, and this is going to be a kit. It's not like a, a, a something that you'll use and then put away for a year no, and never use again. You, you will use this all, all the, the time. time, won't you? All the time, Ben. I can promise you. Whenever it comes to a flower for your project, by God, you're going to you're going to reach for this every single time. Yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Now I'm going to start adding because I've shaped quite a lot. I'm going to start adding some stamens. So. Okay. Um, and this is when you've got all of these to choose from um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna mix them up with let's just bring in my big ones first so I'm gonna mix some up with my um, <clears throat> what's the ones I, you know, I can never remember the name of this what's that oh the, what? it's like a firework isn't it it's like, oh do you know I don't know what it's called it's a I know it's a stamen but I'm just not sure what the it's got a special name, this one, because it's, it's a... Firework stamen. Is that what we're going to call it? I don't know. Shall we call it that now? Shall we? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> we'll call Let's it that. Let's call that now. That'll do. Um, and don't be afraid, as well, to add, like, your colour. I know I've only cut white and, um, uh, white and pink out in there, but if I show you my original project, I've used blues, I've used yellows, I've used all sorts of different colours, pinks, reds, into the centre, because I think it looks, it just adds a little bit of interest as well to it. Um, so just continue to add your uh, stamens into the centre, and I'm just going to add, I'm going to add big ones into the big ones, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and small ones into the small ones. Okay. Uh, so if you want to do that, absolutely, you can do that um, if you want to do that. Look, see what I mean about adding different colours into it? And then straight in, and push down. Are you still cutting? 
I've just, well, <laughs> but, no, no, what it is, it's like what you said a minute ago, because I've, I've cut a load of stamens in white, but then I thought, actually, because I've got orange flowers, but then I thought it, it might be quite nice to have some orange stamens to yeah, put inside. Like, the, the, the blue definitely. would be quite nice. So I, I've just had a bit of a... A bit of a I'm probably going to have to refer to my um, to mine that I've got at the side of me because I've only literally cut some white and pink out, mm. uh, but I have got some multicolours in my um, pack uh, uh, pack box in, pack. in your box in my box. Um, so yeah, but I do like the multicolours. I think it adds a little bit of um, little bit of colour. Yeah, a little bit of colour. So if I just show you my box for a second, because. I do love making flowers, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> wow, um, wait, I'm, that is full. We should have a competition, see who's got more in their box, you all Victoria. Well, this, to be fair, this is not all of them, because I oh. have got another box at home. Not this one, I've got another, I've got, got another box. I just, I couldn't stop the other week. Do you know how we're prepping for this? Yeah. Couldn't stop. Uh, we're a Sunday night, and I didn't stop. Uh, when I said I didn't stop, I must have been cutting flowers and foliage no. out in the middle of the night. Really? Oh, I was having the time of my blooming life. <laughs> I, I can... genuinely was having the time of my life. Really, really enjoy this. Um, I just think it's such a lovely, relaxing craft. Um, Kim has just said they work really, really well alongside your other flower dyes too. And um, yes, they do. Hilary's yes. Hilary's just said, and this goes back to what you were talking about a few minutes ago. She says I've put flowers on everything since I've got this kit because I absolutely love it. And that's it. You, you think about all the flowers that you get here, all the dyes, and then I know you obviously get the linen cardstock, and if you're going for the showstopper, you get your kingfisher and your wild at heart, but you think about all the other papers and different colours that you've got in your craft room. I mean, you, you make flowers for all seasons, and, all, and it's all occasions and all people, isn't it, with, with yep. flowers? Once you've got a kit like this, you've got cards forever, for Absolutely. everyone, for all occasions. Absolutely. Mm. And anything that you don't use in this project, I know we've been going, we've been going a bit flower crazy, haven't we? We have. Um, oh, and well, actually, flower crazy, we've got, to, we've got to get a move on because we've got to get a card together. Oh, um, God, yeah. So I'm like, just looking at the time, and I'm like, Whoa, where's that time gone? Um, you, anything that you haven't, you know, you haven't um, used, you can pop into your box. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Um, don't worry. Let, let's just get, let's just get some. I'm gonna get some more stamens slapped in there. She says, slap in the stamens. Slap in those, whack them in. I need to glue some of mine in now, actually. I think. You what, long? I need to glue some stamens in, I think. We'll have a break in a minute as well. Shall we? So we can have a little bit of a catch up and get some stamens together. Yeah. And, then, and then what we'll do is we'll construct the uh, mats and layers. Mm -hmm. That won't take long, Ben, so don't worry. No. It's quite a nice I'm not worried. I'm in your capable hands. Bless you. Do you know what? I've just realised I think this is the first time you've crafted along with me. No, it's not. I'm pretty sure it is. Is it actually? I think it is. Ah, Yeah, us. I think it's a first. How's it been for you? It's been wonderful. Has it? It's been wonderful. Has loving it? it. Has it Are you loving it, Ben? I always love, um, I always love crafting along, to be honest with you. I, 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 what, my, my rule has always been, like, if, um, if we have a guest on, I would sort of not normally do it, but, um... I thought today I couldn't help myself really, and um, it's one of those ones, isn't it, where it kind of it doesn't matter if I finish. Uh, I, I, I can do whatever I want to do, but with the flowers, you know, you've ever just cut a load of flowers out. At least I participated, and I've had a lot of fun. Um, we've got three chances left. I'm just being told as well to get the floral creations kit. So what we're going to do, just whilst Debbie and I, so all we're going to do in this break is just keep um, keep adding sticking, stamens. Yeah? yeah, get all your stamens, get all your flowers together, uh, because what we'll do is we'll when we come back we'll start to put together um, our bases for yep. our project, um, and then we're we're good to go to to put it all together because we've got the composing stage to do as well. Cool. Well, we are going to take a short break. We're going to keep on sticking. And um, we'll come back in about three or four minutes' time. We'll see how Victoria's getting on. Um, we will uh, pop the card together. But in the meantime, if you've got the floor creations kit in your basket, get it checked out. It's about to sell out. And whilst we're doing all of that, let's find out more about Craig Laird.
my name's Craig Laird. I work at Crafters Companion. I am a craft expert where I get to play with lots of crafty goodies from Crafters Companion and hopefully we're here to inspire you with lots of crafty things that you can do. So my crafting journey, that started many, many years ago, actually just over 20 years ago. I actually came across crafting on uh, UK Shopping TV. I, uh, I was unwell at the time and I was just channel surfing, just uh, having a look to see what was on TV and then I came across who has now become my friend Dawn Bibby and I thought, oh, I quite like that bit of crafting that she's doing. I purchased some crafty goodies and before you know it, here I am, all these years later, uh, doing what I'm doing with Crafters Companion. So believe it or not, none of my family or friends are actually very creative. So the creative side in me has actually just progressed naturally. As I have progressed, I've become really good friends with many craft experts out there in the industry, and they're the ones that inspire me. Then coming to Crafters Companion, Crafters TV, and interacting with all the crafters at home, seeing what they make. I am a huge, huge advocate for social media because you get to see lots of things that everyone makes at home, and that does inspire me as well. Many years ago, before I started here at Crafters Companion, believe it or not, I didn't have a lot of confidence. I didn't go out a lot, I didn't do much. Now, with Crafters Companion and Crafters TV it's given me so much confidence self-belief my biggest crafting success I'm gonna to have to pick two one of them is appearing on HSN America I was really really lucky a couple of years ago to actually go to Florida with Sarah to see how it all works behind the scenes an incredible juggernaut that the shopping TV is at HSN that for me is an incredible proud moment I will never ever forget when all of you incredible crafters at home uh, voted enough for me to be in the run-in of the 2021 Male Craft Personality of the Year was such a humbling feeling. I was so, so proud. I was so grateful. Our Crafter TV audience are absolutely incredible. For me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers and the support that I get. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise, but if you just want that interaction, you just want to have that chat away about anything random in life on a social media, on a crafters TV, you know that you're going to get that support, you're going to get that understanding when it comes to the crafters at home. You okay there, Ben? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm good. I'm good. You enjoy um, yourself? No, I'm happy. I'm having a great time. I've crafted a lot today and I've really enjoyed it. And Debbie, I think you're right. It is the first time I've crafted with you and we should definitely do it again because yes. I've thoroughly enjoyed the show. Um, let's see how we're getting on in, uh, in Preston. See how Victoria's uh, going. How are you going, Victoria? Is it going well? Hello. Yes, uh, I'm okay so far. Just trying to stick some oh. things together. Oh, I love that. Is that a gold centre I saw then? Yeah, I've beautiful. been using some gold. That's beautiful. So. Yeah. Fantastic. It's lovely to have you with us, and we've seen that you've been uh, been crafting away, having um, having a lot yes. of fun with us. Are you, um, do you reckon you might come back and do another one after this experience, or have we put you off? <laughs> <laughs> not put me off yet. Okay. <laughs> not I like, yet. I like if not you're, bit. yeah, if you're willing to have me again, then yes, sure, I'll be back. No, definitely, we're going to have you back. Uh, we've enjoyed uh, having uh, having you with us, and it's fun, isn't it? Because I think a lot of people perhaps get a little bit nervous about the, the craft alongs, but it's it, it, it's all fun, isn't it? Please say yes. <laughs> it is. Yes, it is fun. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. <laughs> What, um, what made you choose this one out of uh, everyone? Have you been thinking about doing a craft along for a while or was it just because you like this kit so much? I've been thinking about doing a craft along for a while and then I saw the, the call out on Facebook, I think. Yeah. For all the different um, craft alongs that you guys been planning. And yeah. um, I didn't know at the time what the floral creation set was gonna be okay. but 
<laughs> little one is here again. Hi, Violet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it sounded nice. Yeah. And uh, I'm always up for, for florals and flowers and things. So yeah. I signed up for that one. And um, yeah, got the, got the spot. That's and brilliant. Uh, yes. And so, so I know you've just kind of said, but florals is your kind of, is that your sort of go to thing when you're making projects? I love florals and um, butterflies, yes. So yeah. that's like my main oh, brilliant. And, and, things to go. And do you make for, uh, I know you said earlier on, you make for kind of special occasions, but do you, do you make and sell as well? Or is it just something that you do for, for friends and family? I usually just make for friends and family. Because I've, I've been thinking or people have told me like, oh, just go on and sell them, uh, make loads of them and sell them for Christmas or special occasions, whatever. But I feel like if I do loads of them, it takes the fun out of it a little yeah. bit. So, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we, yeah, I kind of get that. It's, it's nice to be able to do for sort of special occasions, isn't it? And uh, yeah. especially like you said, that, that uh, Violet's crafting with you as well, which is um, which is just brilliant. <laughs> yes, Jamie says, yeah. does the rabbit craft as well? <laughs> no, she's just chewing the paper. So. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, it's Got to be careful to with that. With you. We've really enjoyed it. I think, are, are we ready for the next section of the uh, the Yes, because I think what we're going to have to do is start to get, because I've just literally laid all my flowers up at the top, um, all my configurations that I've got, um, and we'll come to that. But what we're going to do is we're going to make the base car of it. Now, I did this 8x8, eight eight, Ben, so it's entirely up to you. If you want to do something different, if you said you were going with your vase, it's entirely up to you how you do this. Okay. Now, I'm going to take some white cardstock first, mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to grab my large guillotine what I have put down there um, I'm going to extend the leg oh, hey. as you do <laughs> don't know you where get that excited there Ben Sorry, don't know extend where that the leg away Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot where you were then didn't you you forgot you were like <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me tonight honestly I'm having the best time oh that's hilarious <laughs> you definitely forgot where you were <laughs> then <laughs> You see, guys, this is what we have to put up with backstage. You don't see it all. You don't see any of this behind the scenes. It's all lies, is I it? tell you. Lies. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, eight inches by eight inches will be our base. And then I'm going to do a couple of little extra mats and less. I'm going to bring in some cardstock, black cardstock. So, if you're choosing a colour, this is absolutely fine to choose. Um, any kind of colour you want, really, to be fair. But we're just, I'm going to give you the measurements. The next size down will be a seven and three quarter inch square. So that will be the perfect quarter of an inch increment. Just to make sure that's nice and flush. So that the mat in there sits in beautifully into um, there. And you can see that lovely frame. And then I'm going to bring another piece of whiting because I like a bit of pop, I like a bit of pop again okay. um, with the white, and I think it just adds that little bit extra. So the next one will be seven and a half inch square, being the next uh, mat and layer. And if I just bring that back in so you can see this, now I'm not extracting any of the middles; they're all staying on because um, I want a nice solid piece. It's a, it's a wall hang in mine, so I don't want it to be flimsy, I don't want it to be floppy. Uh, but the next stage down will be your chosen colour of your paper pad. Now, I'm using the Saint with Flowers. Yeah. I absolutely adore this one. Um, and again, it's entirely up to you on your choice of paper. You've got some really beautiful bright flowers. So it depends whether you want something muted or whether you want something patterned. Um, I think I'm going to go with that one again. I do like that one. And I'm going to cut this down to, well, the last mat and layer was seven and a half, so this will be seven and a quarter. Mm. Um, to make sure that all your mats and layers uh, fit in with that quarter of an inch all the way around. You can change that up if you want to, but on this occasion, we are, well, I'm sticking to the quarter of an inch. Um, but of course, you can change that up and have a bigger border if you want to do that. Okay? Yeah. So you can see now that those all sit within each other, okay? Let me get that the right way around with the flowers the right way around. Um, so that's the, the main part. Now, I add, and I'll just bring it back in just for a second so you can see it. I had um, a smaller um, piece of uh, matting and layering just in the centre for somewhere for my flowers to pop. Now, I'll explain why. It's a pattern cardstock. 
and if I just start putting the flowers onto there they kind of get lost a little bit yeah. so I wanted something with a bit of a white background to just pop off the page uh, okay. so I've gone with a smaller one now Debbie being Debbie forgot to write this bit down so I will try and work this out because I can't even find my ruler my ruler's disappeared um, oh I know what I can use it on and I'll because I, I want the exact measurements for you um, if I put that up to there that's roughly around five and three quarters right let's just see if that works so grab another piece of black cardstock and I'm gonna come in I'm gonna start with six by six first actually yeah I'll start with six by six and see if that's enough of a frame I kind of want it just a little bit smaller so I'm gonna come down to five and three quarter inches so sorry, Ben. I'm I'm just changing that up a little well, bit. Well, I've gone. Um, I've actually gone a bit smaller than one. I'm doing my fine. six by six. Yeah, that's fine, love. Absolutely. Uh, but it just gives it a nice bit of a um, a little bit of a border co colour. Um, but then the next one, because this is five and three quarter square. Yeah. So I'm going to come to five and a half with the white, which is the base where we are going to lay all our flowers. Okay. So first things first. Let's get this down five and a half inch square. I can't confuse with any measurements, have I, Ben? No, because as I said, I've, I've made mine six by six anyway. So, I, so, we're, so we're doing a square for the central bit to put our floral spray on, right? Yeah. So, yes. Yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to move all my bits out of the way. I'm not going to yeah. throw anything because we can use certain elements again. So I'm just going to move those just over there. And I'm just going to bring all this in and I'm going to glue all of these mats and layers together. Uh, this is when I do use all-purpose glue. Um, I find you get that little bit more of a wiggle time. Yeah. I'm going to have to ask Jake for some more because we're starting to run out in the craft room. Of the what? Oh, the all-purpose. All-purpose, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's on its last legs and I've oh. got a couple of more days here. So I definitely need to get some more. <clears throat> so I'm going to lay all of these down. And like I said, it gives me that uh, time to be able to position it and get that straight. Yeah and then pop these layers one by one on top of each other. Now my small one, Ben, this is when I brought foam pads in because the smaller one where we're gonna put the flowers, yeah. I actually lifted it with some foam pads. Okay. So if you wanna keep it flat, you can keep it I'm flat. I'm gonna lift it, if it's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. Bless you. Have you got some foam pads? Um, I think I have somewhere. Somewhere I, I have. Somewhere amongst the explosion as uh, <laughs> who said it was Miss Rhonda, I think said. <laughs> That's the beauty of crafting, though, isn't it? If you're not yeah. making a mess, you ain't crafting. Uh, yeah, are you even crafting? crafting? Come on. I know. And that, uh, yeah, as, well, did you hear no, did you hear Nicola Nicola say? then? What as long as he tidies it up. Oh. Well, I, I, because I was filming some bits earlier on um, whilst crafting, and then I tidied all that up, then I realised that I needed it all back out again because I was doing this with Debbie, so um, I, will, I will tidy up. I will Bless tidy you. up. And you well, always tidy up, Debbie, as well, don't you? I do. Oh, I think I might have... I, do you know what? I've just realised I've made a mistake on me mat and lair. Just bear with me a second. Do you know what? I've made a mistake. I've, I haven't cut this down to size properly. Oh. Just give me a second. That's all right. Um, uh, we have a problem, Houston. Houston, we have a so problem. So I'm going to just bring this back in and I'm going to just quickly measure it. There yeah, it'll go. work, Jamie. It'll be a bit messy, but I can clean it up. And that's the lovely thing about oh. all-purpose. Foam pads on the last bit, you said, didn't you? Yes, I did. Let okay. me just make my measurements out. What's that? Sorry, you carry on doing what oh. you were doing. I'm just trying to work the measurement out on where I've gone wrong. Did I do seven and a half there and seven and a quarter? Yes, yeah, so that where, where's the seven and a half? Um, just whilst you're, you're cutting, um, Jen, Jen says, I agree, Debbie, it's so relaxing. I just start cutting flowers this morning and I'm still cutting. I'm going to need the Simon storage for storage. Yes. Um, yeah, what a great idea. Great, uh, honestly, great idea. Um, Hilary says, hearing you say Craig's name in a Scottish accent makes me smile. I can't think about or say Edge Crampler unless it's in a Scottish <laughs> accent. <laughs> He's the, so funny, isn't he? He cracks me up when he says that. Yeah. Edge Crampler. Edge Crampler. <laughs> um, and uh, Monica joins us as well, saying, hello, crafty friends from Cluge Napoca. I'm late to the party, but just in time to check out the showstopper and a few other paper pads. Monica, you must have been one of the last people to get the showstopper, because I don't think we've... How many have we got left now? Can't be many. Oh. Uh, I think it's gone. We're just finding out the showstopper. Well, all the floral creations is gone, so... Uh, if you've got it in your basket, I think it's a technical sellout, is what we call it. So get it's it checked. A, yeah. 
and, and like we said, we, we know how Johnny worked incredibly hard to get us something. Yeah. And we did have to take it from a different area in the business. And we I, did. Good old Johnny. He is, but we know we, know we can't push it anymore. No. But it's not fair either, to be fair, because, you know, we have to give people opportunity in retail and trade to get hold of it. Um, but, yeah, there ain't no more right now for us. No. So, well done if you got it. Congratulations. Absolutely. I'm just going to add one more into there. <coughs> what are you talking about, Jamie? Messing, who's, who's looking messy? Me? Well, you see, this is the trick. This yeah. is the trick then. What? I have a pretty little side piece. Uh, yeah. Because behind the back of there... Is... Is a mess. A mess. Is a mess. What's yours like, Ben? <laughs> I mean, I've got, I've got mess behind here and mess there. But, I mean, if you... <laughs> You can probably see from if you get the overhead, you can like scour around my whole tabletop here. It is an absolute <laughs> disaster. It's a disaster. Is it a disaster? Uh, it, it's there's a lot of mess everywhere, but it's an oh, organised mess. Oh look at that! That looks lovely. I like that. That oh. to me is you being craft. You're very crafty there. Yeah, I am. I'm, ha I'm having a lot of fun. I sort of know where stuff is. Yeah. Um, you know, which is which is which is good. That's exactly go. how I am in my craft room. <laughs> oh, I need a screenshot of that. I need someone to <laughs> screenshot that. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's all good here. It's all good. Right. right. I've got all my mats and lace together. Yeah. Now, if this was a card base, because you could use this as a card base, um, you know you've got an 8x8 eight eight there, so if you were going to add a back to it, you could, you could cut it down to 8x9 and score at one inch, and then you would simply attach that to the front of that and you've got yourself a card. Um, now, we're going to do a bit of construction. Do you know it looks a bit Katie cornered there on that angle? A bit what? Okay, it just looked a bit skew with you know, on bird's eye view. Bird's eye view? Uh, It'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. It'll be fine. Now, I never at this stage... Never, ever, ever. <laughs> I don't. Because it could go all wrong, spectacularly wrong. So I start with, like, a starting point. So yeah. I'm just going to lay down a couple of flowers. So, oh, OK, and then you... Uh, yeah, I do a little stick. bit of... And I start with my large flowers and build up where I want them to be. So I'm not sticking anything <laughs> at this stage down. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of... Uh, do, and do you go... I know you obviously are. So you go flowers first rather than, like... You chuck the foliage after? I'll, so, the, great question. Okay. So, what I do now is I've started with a few flowers. I'm going to bring in some smaller ones. Um, I've got some different colours. Let's come in with the blue, pink, a bit of red. I'm going to add a little bit here. Um, this is what I say about having more to start with because it'll just mean that you can... And you can already see that starting, that cascading of flowers. But I prefer not to stick down at this stage. And the only reason being is because um, it could go... Oh, not disastrous wrong, but I might want to add more, like, coming under here. And so I'm happy with that for now, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start placing where I want my foliage parts to be. OK. Um, now, I want to add a few more because I feel like it's... I need to add more just under here. So I've got a couple of other flowers here because I want a bit of white, so I'm going to add a white one here. Yeah, OK. Um, I think I'll come in with a little pink one there. So, again, at this stage, I'm not tucking anything down. No. But what I'm just going to do is now start to place in areas and build up some foliage. Now, this is where I would first start sticking down, but I just want to get it placed so I can see it. And then I can start to add and take away or place them in different areas. Um, and you can start to build up, but you've not actually committed to the stick. No. And, and for me, it makes such a difference, because I've still got leaves to add into there as well, but you can start to see it taking shape, because we will be adding things like leaves in there, which I'm not going to do at the minute, because what I'm going to do is, I'm happy with how many flowers you've got. If you want to add some more, get some more out of your box, if you've been busy doing like what our lovely Victoria's been doing, grab some more of the um, flowers and add... add you know, different colours in. If you feel like you've got too much pink there, bring in a different colour. Don't be dropping your flowers on the floor, Debbie. Don't chuck your flowers on no, the floor. No, don't be chucking your flowers. I'm going to add an orange one into there. I feel like, yeah, yeah. 
So you can start to see that coming together really, really nicely. And then when you're happy with your flower composition, yeah. that's when you can start to stick things down. Now, in total honesty, and I, I know you've got 3D Kalal glue, if you're not confident with that hot glue gun, get your Kalal glue out and use your Kalal glue at this stage so that you can add it and then you can start to manoeuvre it because it won't dry instantly. Yeah. So that's why I recommend it to you, Ben, to use the Kalal glue rather than the hot glue gun. Yeah. Not saying anything and diminishing anything from the, you know, the things that you do, but... Right, that's a good, good point. But, but just so that you aren't... Do um, you, you know what I mean? You know... It's stuck instantly with a yeah. hot glue gun. And if, yeah. you're, if you've not put it down in the place that you want and you want to change it, um, you ain't going to be able to change it. No. OK? Right. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to start to add um, my hot glue gun. And I'm just going to lift off in um, areas to get this going. Oh, I see. OK? Yeah. So I'm just going to come in. I'm going to add my foliage in a minute. Did I say it right? Yeah, I think so. Did I? Foliage. <laughs> Yes, I did, yes. Um, I am going to use uh, my 3D, uh, no, 3D, tacky. Tacky, and I'm going to shove that underneath before anything actually dries. There we go. And then you can start to build up, OK? So if you're confident, get yourself, get yourself your glues, get yourself sticking, and wherever you've come, uh, what, you know, whatever you've decided to compose, I'm dying to see yours, but I can't wait to see it. I, I put all my flowers on. I thought, oh, that looks nice. And I took them all off again. And I'm like, I can't remember where I put them now. But, exactly. Yeah, do you know what? I'm, I'm just going to I'm just gonna. Uh, so if you do things like that, and I'll be totally honest with you, when I did my first one, Ben, that's exactly what I did. Yeah. I didn't see what I'd done. So I take a picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take a picture. That's and a you'll be point. absolutely fine. It's all right. Know. We'll muddle through it. I'll get, I'll get there in some shape or form. Of course you will. Mine is just uh, a bit of a, an added extra to your beautiful project that you're doing over there. So And Victoria's, of course, as well. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing Victoria's. I can't wait can't to wait see Victoria's. Oh, I've got a phone pad on there. That must be from my stash. Uh, pop a phone pad. Why not? Let's get that on there. And if you've noticed, I'm tucking flowers under flowers. Yeah. They're not, you know, just, it just creates that little bit of, um, oh, you can get back, get back. Who are you talking to now? Talking to me flower. I thought you were talking to me. No, talking to me flower. <laughs> oh, there we go. There, yeah, that's better. Poke it all. Oh, no. And do you know if you are using a hot glue gun, don't worry about the string. Because yeah. we all know hot glue guns, regardless who... Oh, I've got another phone pad. Um, well, let me take that off, because I think I can get away with that one. Um, yeah, regardless of what glue gun, um, most glue guns have the stringy bit, but when they dry, you can take it off. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it doing it while it's at this stage. Um, I would take it off afterwards, OK? Um, so, now, before I stick those two down, I'm going to get that one in. Have we got a sentiment to put on at the end as well? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We've got a sentiment. Actually, that's if you want to. Oh, I'm going to, definitely. You might not want to add a sentiment, I'm going to. So, you want to add a sentiment? I do, yeah. Have you got someone in mind that you're giving this to? Uh, uh, have I? Mrs? Mrs M? Mrs M? Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yes, definitely, Debbie. I'm going to give this to Mrs M. Of course you are. Yeah. Of course you are. I'm going to add a little bit of um, glue onto the back of there. I just it's want to Mother's say... Mother's Day soon, you know. Oh, that is a shout. Do you yeah, know what? it's Mother's Day soon. This would be a lovely Mother's Day project. I might keep this for uh, Mama M. Oh, I like your style. What about giving it to your kiddies from Mrs... Mrs... No, they can make their own the living real... card. Ah! <laughs> what are you talking about? You. What you like? <laughs> I'm not doing all the hard work, and then, then, then they're going to go, oh, look what we did for you, Mum. No way. <laughs> no way, Jose. What do you think I am? <laughs> My kids are old enough and ugly enough now to do their own thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, Sarah says, you enjoy it, Ben. Crafting mess is a happy mess. It is. Um, and Sarah says, I love a craft bomb. You start off tidy, then you look around 10 minutes later, uh, crafty happiness all over the place. It's joy. It is. Yeah. You can clean up afterwards. I mean, that's it. Life's too short. Life's isn't it? too short. Yeah. Crap, crap, do it. You know, clean up afterwards. Don't worry about it. Um, enjoy this bit. Enjoy the creative. Yeah. And um, because every time you do, you, I promise you, you'll love every single time you make one, uh, whether it be 
like this on this scale or whether you know it's little you'll enjoy you you enjoy your crafting yeah exactly right i really enjoy this stage and i enjoy adding now i'm going to start adding some leaf leafage leaf yeah again. leafage leafage Slowly edge. start adding it is it is producer nick it's easier what than did nick say oh it's easier than saying foliage yeah yeah i'm rubbish with that just we know we know you know i, I know my own faults uh, oh. And then it's all gone quiet. You what, love? It's all gone quiet. We're all we're having the best we're all, time. We're all... We are in the concentration part of the uh, the craft along. Have you just... Oh, you've got some white foliage. Have you got white foliage on oh, yours? Oh yeah. Oh, Get I'm some white that. in. I'm going to do that. Uh, can well, I just then. tell you as well? I'm glad. I'm glad. I asked for two hours. <laughs> well, me too. Can you imagine? Like I was trying to do this in an hour. <laughs> Have you heard them? They're having a go at me. I know. <laughs> No, no, it wasn't me. Well, no, it was me, actually. Yes, it was you. It was. You were like, Debbie, are you sure we can't do this in an hour? But originally, the, just tell the story as well. Originally, yes, this originally was just going to be... It was an hour. An hour, wasn't and it? And I did say to you, didn't I, Nicola? I need more than an hour. She did. So Nicola went and grabbed that second hour. And then you tried to steal it off her. And then I tried <laughs> to steal it back. I said, are you sure you don't want to go home at six o'clock tonight? But I, do you know what? I've had the best time. We've had a lot of fun. We've got a... We've got a we have got a great guest. We've got a great expert leading us. We've got a not a not too bad presenter having a bit of a go. We've got a great Aww. audience watching us. Great product we're working with. I mean, you couldn't really ask for more, could you? Really? <laughs> chocolate, Jamie says. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> could I have some more chocolate, Ben? All right. <laughs> Next time, can someone bring some chocolate to the game, please? That's so funny. Um, but yeah, all, all I'm doing is adding, I know I'm getting carried away because I think I've made it bigger than what I did with my first one. I can't help myself. And, and the thing is, I, would, I, I did say to producer Nick, I said, there's no way I can recreate the same one. No. There's no way. Um, and I don't want to. I want to have, you know, a unique piece each time. And no, you know, no, no two things are the same, are That's they? That's exactly right. Exactly. Um, now then, do I step away or do I add a bit more? What are you doing? I think I'm or, like, I mean, you're, I'm I've got a bit more minimalistic with compared to yours. Have I gone mad? I mean, no, we've, <laughs> we've done different stuff. I've gone for a little bit more, a little bit more minimal. I'm really happy with mine, though. A little bit more minimalistic. Oh, there you go. that's lovely. A little smaller project. Just going to pop like a little sentiment down here. I'm really happy with it. Yeah, well, you, you know, you don't have to have the sentiment. Like I said, if you don't want to add the sentiment, you don't have to have that. Um, you could... Um, and I, I, on my original one, I've just scattered a few gems around in my spaces. Although I've got not much space left now, so I don't think I can <laughs> yeah, do that. Yeah, what space? Uh, because um, I've just got carried away with myself. Yeah, that's it. Yet again. Um, do you know what, though? I'm not going to add... Um, what I'm going to add are just, uh, like, a couple of little flowers. And I say a few little. I keep dropping glue in the wrong place. Just to cascade a little bit off, off the page. Yeah. A little bit. I'm just go in there. Like I said, don't worry. And I'll add gems to those as well. So um, I'll take a few that I've shaped. You can tell when I go silent, I'm busy mm. crafting away because I'm Sorry, that's where I normally should be, should be talking. Um, we've only, I can't believe we've only got 10 minutes uh, left on the show. Uh, so pretty, says Sherry. Um, Lillian says, I thought chocolate too. That's the only thing missing uh, from the show. We'll do it next time. <laughs> What's the craft on tomorrow? Um, it is the stepper cards. Now, have I got an hour or two? We've got one tomorrow. Just one. Mm. It'll be fine. Uh, do you know some of your flowers that yeah. you've, you've left behind today that yeah. you haven't used? Oh, yeah. Save for tomorrow. OK, am I going to craft along with you? If you want to craft along, you can craft along. However, it is only an hour, Ben. OK, maybe I won't. Maybe, yeah. I mean, uh, and it's a double, it's a double, triple stepper card. Well, what a, what a, what a, what? A double, triple stepper card. Well, what a, what a, what a, what? I mean, it's up to you. If you want to, mm. you can. OK. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. We'll I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm never going to stop anybody creative onto, uh, onto crafting along at all. Oh! Sorry. No, I was just thinking of putting some gems on. Where are you? No. Um, I was just thinking of putting some, um, some gems on mine in just a second. Uh, Beverly says, beautiful. Um, and Pat saying, Ben, it's not a mess. It is an explosion of uh, colour. And Trish says, Trish Listell, 
I'm not sure what it is about pressing paper flowers into a sponge with a metal ball that's so satisfying. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. I do, um, I get that. Where are we? I know, um, where am I putting my sentiment? How am I doing that? What, I can't remember what yours looked like. Right, have you got the sentiments that are in your box? I have got my sentiments, yeah. yeah. So a little bit of black and white, is it? Yeah, it's just black and white, and then it's just literally uh, a bit of matting and layering. And I can't give you any measurements for that one, Ben, because... Um, yeah, it depends how big... It depends how, you know, it depends how you've... Um, how... Mm. It, yeah, it depends on how big you want your, your, your gap to be. Does that make sense on your sentiments? Yeah. I've gone with a real... If I just show you, Ben, so you can see, I've just taken a small one. And like a thin strip. Okay. Um, so I've not left any space for mine. <laughs> so guess what I'm not doing on mine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not adding my sentiments. Because again, this, I mean, I'll, I'll show you how to add uh, your ribbon onto the back if you want to. Um, but yeah, I'm, ju I'm just going to continue to add. I'm just going to add a bit more if I can, because I'm really enjoying myself. Well, that's it. You, 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 you do as much as you want to do. Well, that's miles too big. Um, yeah, just keep going. Keep going. I know, I'm enjoying myself. I, just, I love I love doing things like this and I love getting creative and I don't know if you can tell but I love flowers <laughs> I didn't notice that did you notice that no, I, I mean I did that. have to stop myself from using butterflies <laughs> because I wanted to put a couple of little butterflies onto the project but I thought no come on Debbie steer away from the butterflies <laughs> for once how many nine minutes left oh my days Debbie's gonna put all those flowers before she ends up putting them all over I'm gonna put them back in my box Get that in there. They're the ones that just need stamens. So, That's... yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Oh, actually, yeah. oh, look what I found. <laughs> I forgot I got one in my little stash. What's that? Life in full bloom. I feel uh... like I've cheated. I feel like I've cheated now because all you've got to do is stamp that out, uh, Ben, and I'm going to add a bit of glue again just onto there. Um, if you want to add a sentiment, add one. If you don't, that's absolutely fine. Um, and I'm just going to push that underneath and have it a little bit coming out. I've cheated there a little bit. Sorry. That's right. I know. It's only because I realise the time and I'm like, oh, my days. Your but project, by the way, over there, missus, is absolutely do you like, do you like what amazing. Done? Thank you. I'm yeah. just going to put all my flowers and my foliage back into my box. Yeah. Um, oh, I forgot to put me. Oh, what did you forget? oh, I made that. Oh, oh, do you know? Never mind. Never mind. What bottom? What have where? you forgotten? I forgot to put this one on. Mm, I think it's looking a bit odd there. Do you think it looks odd? But they like it in the gallery. Shall I put those in? Do what do you think, guys? Do it. Do it. What do you think, Ben? Well, I haven't got much white space now, so I might as well. So let, let's just go in in there. Um, I'm going to push that one up into the top corner. I've literally filled every single orifice in this. But, um, yeah, why not? Let, let's do it. Let's get that on there. Oh, we haven't got much time. We need to no, go no, back we to haven't. our lovely Victoria as well. Need, um, oh, yeah, we definitely need to see Victoria's. Yes, we do. Um, so I'm just going to lay that down there. Yep. Uh, let that dry for a second. Um, and the only thing I'm going to add to mine is a bit of ribbon. When I can find my ribbon, I'm going to attach my ribbon to the back. So I'm going to scoop that over. And I'm just going to attach that to the back of my piece. And if I just sit that down there, you don't need to see me doing that. But what you can see there is that you've got your finished uh, project. Um, and I mean, I know it's slightly different to the one. Because <laughs> I did leave some white space. But um, I just love, 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 love creating things like this. Um, so if I just hold that up for you, we'll pretend we've been stuck down. Um, and there you go. Enjoy this uh, project. And don't be afraid to fill up all of that onto the hair like I have. I can't wait to see yours, Ben. I'm really Mine's excited a bit of a rush at the end, but you'll get the general gist of it, I oh. think. Uh, you, but I mean, seriously, I mean, how beautiful is this? Debbie, your project is amazing. It's Thank just, you. Uh, it's just such a happy project and such a happy kit to craft with, isn't it? It is, absolutely. Um, it is. Let's, should we have a, see how Victoria's getting on as well, I think? Let's, uh, let's see how we're doing. How's your project gone, Victoria? Still sticking. Yeah. Ooh. And I've just stuck hot glue all over the place. Ah, but, oh, ooh, look at that. Like, look at Hold that. on. Oh, I love the gold. 
I love it. It's like a gold detail in the back. That looks beautiful. Ties it all in, brings it all in from those central flowers. That is beautiful. Exactly. Yeah, I love that. Gorgeous. Have you enjoyed it, Victoria? Yes. Good. Very lovely. Good. I'm glad you have. Uh, will you? I like your hair. Aww. As well. Aww. Everyone loves your hair. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah. That's really kind. Thank you very much. Um, would you promise me one thing? Well, two yes. things actually. Oh. Um, will you post your make and tag me and Ben in it? Yes. Be brave and do that. And secondly, will you come back and be a guest again? Because you've been absolutely lovely. You have. Please say yes. Oh, thank you. I will. Yes. Thank you very much. Well, um, I'm going to throw back to our lovely Ben, who, by the way, is busy crafting along with you still. Um, yes. How are you going, It looks ben? very good, both uh, of you. Uh, we, we, we've had the best. I've not quite finished, but I said it's a bit wonky. But I, And me, me stamp, I smudged it a bit, but it's... Oh, me things are falling off. It's... it's oh, oh. <laughs> I've just stuck two little gems on them, just fallen off. <laughs> but that, it, I'm really happy with that. I've got I to tell think you. that is beautiful, Ben. Can I just tell you that is beautiful? I actually think that should be a Mosby's makes one day. Do you know what? I'm, I'm going to redo it, but I'll need longer than half an hour. <laughs> um, you could cut. You you could. Do you know what? You could have some cut, pre-cut flowers that's ready. That's a good idea. Yeah, actually. just run a couple through, and then you could have some pre-cut ready to put together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's lovely, Ben. I really do love that. I think it's gorgeous. Yeah. And to say it's our first time crafting along together in all these years. Yeah, I know. No, but do you know what? And, and we, I think we've got, you know, crafters of different levels and experiences here. But again, it's one of those projects, isn't it? That, um, or one of those kits which just allows everyone to have a bit of fun, everyone to kind of do their own thing. And isn't it nice? That I think this is a craft along again, because obviously you've got all of the different flowers that you can cut. You can kind of follow the basic sort of outline of what Debbie did. And then if you want to sort of change things up just a little bit, like Victoria did, like I did, then absolutely, you know, you've got the ability to be able to do that. And um, I've absolutely thoroughly enjoyed um, doing this. And it's been brilliant having um, Victoria on the show as well. And uh, we will definitely, hopefully, uh, get her back for another one. I am absolutely... Oh, uh, she's nodding her head as well, which is marvellous. I'm absolutely pooped, I've got to tell you. Bit of craft, have you pooped? I'm absolutely uh, cream crackered. Um, Bless you. You'll sleep well tonight. I will sleep well tonight, honestly. And we're, we're doing it all over again tomorrow, aren't we? Because we've got another craft along coming up tomorrow. For, is that the first thing tomorrow, isn't it? And then we've got cartload. Oh, it's Thursday! Tomorrow night, haven't Yay. we? You and I. Ah, oh, I'm looking forward to that one. That'll be a good one. That will be a good one. Looking forward to it. Well, I'm glad you've enjoyed yourselves, all of you. I'm, uh, I love, I do love Craft Along. I've often said Craft Along is one of my favourite shows yeah. that we do here, um, and because it's real time crafting. That's we, it. We've we've made all of those flowers and everything from scratch. We've done all our mats and layers and everything from scratch. We've put it together from scratch because that's what it's all about. Award winning Craft Along show. Oh yes, um, of course. Of course it is. And. Um, I've loved every minute of it, Ben, and I'm glad you have, and glad Victoria has as well. Um, that's me done for today. I'll yes. see you all tomorrow. Uh, I will keep talking for the final few minutes, just whilst I'm, I'm, I've got right into this. I tell you what, I don't, I don't want the show to end. Just adding a few more little gems onto mine too. I just say a massive thank you to Debbie for, I think, what has been a, another phenomenal day. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I feel really rude not addressing you, but I need to just... There we go. Uh, I hope you've had, I hope you've, um, hey, I think I'm done now. Look, I just added a little bit of bling to it. I'm really happy with that. It's beautiful, Ben, it really is. There you go. Thank you, Debbie, for the tuition. That was so much fun. Um, gorgeous card, Debbie, says Mary Beth Doyle. Uh, nice job, Ben, says Trish, yours is beautiful. Love the craft along, says Rosen Baker. Uh, can't wait to replay it. Uh, stunning card, says Sarah. Uh, Jen says, beautiful. And Pat says, Debbie, beautiful card. Um, and Lynette just says, I took delivery of my Gemini 2 today, and I've been cutting all my flowers out to do the craft along. It looks so pretty. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for a fantastic fantastic day um, again massive thank you to Debbie we're back again tomorrow um, also massive thank you to um, Victoria as well and I didn't kind of I was too busy thank you Victoria so much um, for that and uh, yeah more craft along fun coming tomorrow don't forget we've still got the leap 10 uh, discount for you on the website you'll find that section of the website is stuffed full of goodies so do make sure you have a look there uh, and check out all of those deals 
and then um, also yes if you want more uh, crafty fun you've got the um, CTV 24 7 on YouTube and if you um, want to watch next we've got this morning show or the one o'clock show coming up straight after this and if you um, follow me on my YouTube channel don't forget we've both got YouTube channels at Debbie Robinson CC at Ben Mosby CC you can see my Mosby's makes which I recorded this afternoon which was with the sending love um, collection so there's all that and we're back tomorrow as well for another crafting vlog on a cartload so until then thanks for watching everybody bye for now